Isaac gifted a tier one sub. Yes, sir. I gotta keep. I gotta keep forgetting. I can't. I can't yell like I used to. I can't yell like I used to want to. I got neighbors now. Great thing about the space that we got. We got a lot more space in the apartment, but not a lot more space in the nerd room, sadly. But I got neighbors now. I keep forgetting that. You feel me? Let me turn this down. Make sure y'all. This won't kill y'all ears drums. You just have to pay 10 subs for Doug the action right there. New place has changed, man. Y'all don't remind me of the extra 10. Y'all gotta remind me of the 10. You know, it's like the thing, like, it's like when you buy something at a store and say so you could buy two, get one free, and you bought two things, but you didn't remind them to get the extra thing free. So when you come back, like, it's like too late already. It's already too late. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't run that back now. Y'all should have reminded me at first. You got ads? Oh, no, whoopsie daisy. But shout out to Isaac for the tier one sub. The only reason you get ads is if you are not a, a sub here. Hey, look, y'all can actually see the little buttons now. Yeah, okay. I can't really zoom it in, but y'all. Y'all can see the buttons now. That's dope. But yeah. What is up to everybody in the chat? I hope everybody's having a good, great night. I hope I'm not yelling too loud. But uh, y'all can see that I've been trying to put in a little bit of work. We've been trying to fill the detail up a little bit. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just something slight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but we're going to have a chill night. Actually, no, we're not going to have a chill night. It's about to be fire being lit up in people's butts. Pause. Pause, but we got to light some fire in the people's butts tonight. Uh, but let me go ahead and do a few shout outs. Uh, shout out to Cass that's in the chat. Shout out to Victor. Shout out to Gotti. I am Waste to Work Wage. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to New Alaska. I know he can, he or she couldn't stay in long. But I see this your first time chatting, so welcome to the community. Uh, hopefully, you can catch some more streams. Uh, but here you go. Uh, we got Deluxe Reflex. Uh, Tokuzi. Uh, <laughs> well, deuces. <laughs> Good to see the stream up. Yes, sir. We got Whoopsie Daisy in here. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, my Sage Brother. Yes, sir. Uh, we got Sato, Sato Collects, mm. Swing Spicy or the Patty Melt. Oh, Patty Melt, easy. Patty Melt, easy. That's my favorite thing off the menu. Favorite thing off the menu, Patty Melt. Oh, you said the pay to. <sighs> but yeah, we doing some hot takes tonight. I got some. Uh, I'm back, my bad. I don't know if you answered my question, but Swing and Spicy or Patty, Patty Melt, Patty Melt, got it. Patty Melt. A uh, dang chasing way for me to be ready. B minus. That's crazy. Hi right, Chase, how's the move coming along? Uh, the move is actually over, Mozart. Thank you for asking though. The move is over. It's fully over. I've fully moved out of my old apartment. I've given up the keys uh, this week to my old apartment. So yeah, we're fully moved in here. Everything isn't unpacked yet, but I also don't have enough room to unpack all my stuff. <laughs> I didn't have enough room in my last place. So I definitely don't have enough room here. Hopefully the next place is a house. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope for that. Let's hope for that. Uh, there isn't nearly enough in the, in the detoffs. Well, we got some figures here. I got some figures here. Uh, I just don't have enough womanly figures, Cass. I, I apologize for that. Dog. New seat next week. Hopefully. Hopefully new seat next week. Hopefully. But I know we got like some some woman figures right here. But I haven't opened. I, I think I see. I seen like what happened in one. Hey, can, you, can you get the focus on me all the time? Thank you. Uh, but yeah. In case you said something, I got three ads in a row. Dang, it's because you're not a sub, Joseph. That's why. But I mean, you are a YouTube member though. Uh, holy if they just <laughs> took a huge W. Patty Mo's elite. Oh, facts. What do you? What do you mean, Gotti? What do you mean? Patty Mo all the way, baby. Chase. Only have man figures, kind of sus. No, bros. No, I have Tamaki right there. What are you? Yes, are you yes, dead ass, yes, Edbo? Yes. Shout out to Whoopsie Daisy for the sub. Highly appreciate it. Highly, highly appreciate it. Yes, sir. Dang, baby, I'm about to f you, silly, in the crib. Yes, sir. No, come on, bro. Where's my sound at? Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guys, is asking you to get that dumpy in the detox, bro. I'm trying, bro. I don't think I could fit the dumpy. Can't, can't fit in the detox. Too much dump. Too much dumpy for the detox. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
The Black Panther trailer looked gorgeous. I hope they recast T'Challa. He never should have been killed off in the MCU. They won't recast him. <laughs> Tamaki, a child. I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> Chase, I'm going to a Comic Con type event tomorrow, and I'm going to go broke because of all the manga I bought lately and the Funkos I will be buying. Okay, okay, nice, nice. I'm not going to pray for your wallet. This should be, you should be Broke Boy Gang tomorrow. <laughs> be Broke Boy Gang. Bask in the Broke Boy. Hey, no more ads. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, Anime Kujo? Yes, sir. Uh, Patty Mo is the only good thing they got left. Forever bitter about my mushroom soup. Joseph, you're nasty. You're, you're nasty. Not tomorrow, Saturday. Oh, okay. What up, Owen? Pause? Cupcake? Why is Cass feeding me the cupcake? You're trying to get me thicker. Black Panther is peak according to sales. See, we, we about to cut that out tonight. We cutting that out. No, 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 Joseph. Not here, too. Nah, we bringing it here. We bringing it here. What you eating, Chase? I haven't ate nothing. Came off work. Like pieces of lint off your clip. Oh, my PS5 turned off. Or did I turn the TV off? I, t I think I turned the TV off. <laughs> yeah, I turned the TV off. But yeah, I hate when my lint, of, like my clothing, start like lint, like uh, when it starts to unravel a little string. I hate when that starts touching me. Then I'm like, hey, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. But uh, Joseph, the instigator, the only good hashtag is broke boy getting this fat. I just furnace searching it. I'm raging inside. Wait, where's Nelson at? I don't see no. Oh, it's already been said he won't be recasted. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm about to rim him. Please? Love getting rimmed. Hot takes? Let's see. This is against OP community, really, but Yonkos over Admirals. I don't know. I just based on times you're saying people who say Admirals are just dumb. I don't want to say something for anime only people, so I'm going to shut my mouth. Nice. I'm going to shut my mouth, so I'm not going to say anything for anime people. Amaro's because of basic plot structure. Big Mom drags the Yonko down so far. The big three in anime? You mean Naruto, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach? Ban Owen, mod check. Wait, what did Owen say? Hunter, Hunter over Dragon Ball. You're, you're brazy. Are you that ass, Ed Bowie? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. How about you transform into someone who can get some bitches, monkey? Big Mom could get it. Nani? We'll see what's in these otaku boxes. Because I haven't... I've only opened, like, I think two of them. Oh, well, here's one, Cass. Is this the figure that you wanted me to have on stream? Is this the figure right here? I hope they don't get me for that one, but it's a 112 exclusive collect collectible figure. Um, I don't know what else is in here. I guess like a, a photo binder for cards. Um, there's this. There's this as well. Oh, you can focus on that. Uh, there's also a shirt in here and all that, but. You know, you know. That's what Cass wants me to. Disgusting. <laughs> it's like some Walmart figure. Um. Let me see what's in this one. Maybe Cass will approve of this one. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. This is how the back of the figure looks. Dang. It's not gonna focus and I also don't want there. How about that? How about that? Oh, this is a fake character? Oh yeah, I would have never known. I would have never known. And that's about it. The other one I've unboxed on the channel. There's a down bad unbox. Uh but I just haven't opened those two. So yeah. That's about it. What is that? It's a figure. It's a it's a figure from Otaku Box. Number of appearances he makes in the comics as well. They could throw some multiverse BS in there. Kind of beach projects. I know it can't be done this way. Oh yeah. Prove it. Show me a good time. My favorite. 
Gotta pick some nasty man statues. Oh, facts. Facts. That's why we got the 18 plus chat in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, make sure y'all join the Discord. We'll be having 18 plus chat. We'll be having 18 plus VCs in there as well. Where I might I might stream me getting some Faku. Might put it up on the on the OnlyFans. Might put that up on the OnlyFans. Shopping on Faku? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know, man. What are the maturity of it and how such they could be? I agree, Ishigami. There needs to be more to get a true comparison, but based off the plots they provided with the they tackle, I love Satan. So you like Gal Gohan? That's Peak Satan right there. Peak Satan. Um I would have loved to see MB Michael B. Jordan come back and be Black Panther. I mean, there's people in the talks. Of, like, there's rumors online saying that he might. She got to be of age to be on the shelf. Come correct. Are they, are they not of age? <laughs> Imagine not being in the no Ronnie chat. Facts. Get that Velvet Kiss finally. Actually peak. Velvet Kiss. Velvet Kiss. Hey, but Ronnie a W. Well, this is the thing, right? Uh, they say he's not a W because he's a minor. Turn the W upside down and that makes an M. And what does minor start with? You guessed it. it starts with an M. Uh, but shout out to Ronnie, though. Shout out to Ronnie. The blue people love Ronnie, for real. They do. Ronnie's a good guy. But, like, for real, not playing around. Ronnie is a great dude to have in the server. He's a great person. Like, no diss. Like, I'm I'm dissing him because I'm, I'm just playing. Because we cool like that. But besides that, Ronnie is a really cool dude. He never means any harm to anybody. He's very welcoming. He's very friendly. He's very supportive. So Ronnie is a great dude. Like, for real. Like, I'm not playing. Uh, but now that I am playing, haha, Ronnie, you can't get in the 18 plus chat. This is why I buy the Myers streams on Twitch today. Oh, you've been watching, haven't you, Nelly? Nelly, I've been on this. You late. Ronnie is a great dude, yeah. I saw a picture of Downey Jr. Tropic. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, as Black Panther. Pretty cursed. Oh, yeah, I see that picture too, Joseph. You keeping up with Bottle Myers news? I do keep up with the videos. <laughs> what do you think is better, JoJo's or One Piece? All right. I think this should be the first topic of the night. Which one is better, JoJo's or One Piece? <sighs> what do we? What are we rating as better? What is the rating scale for this? Neither Demon Slayer is. Oh yeah, I forgot Demon Slayer does have top five sales, but then again, One Piece has the number one sales. So by default, because One Piece has sold the most, that means One Piece is better. Let's <sighs> get it ripping. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to open up the call lines. I'm gonna have to open them up early. I didn't think we was gonna get started that early, but Step Bro Joe had to ask me that. Step Bro Joe had to ask me that. So now I'm gonna put this in the stream stage. It's debate time. So if you guys do want to debate me on this, I'll be I'll be up in the in the uh the Discord. I have it open right now. I'm gonna mute myself though so I don't hear me. Uh, let me see what the f. I I let the chopper eat, eat his liver. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pop in maybe. Superman solos Marvel lifetime sales. Mm, so that means Superman is better because something sells more. That means it's better. That's what that means. Yo, if I had like something up here that wasn't like appropriate right here, y'all would see that. That would be crazy. Imagine if I had some nasty up here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good thing we don't. Let us phone in. Y'all can phone in. Mozart Waddle, uh, exclamation point Discord in the chat. For those who aren't a part of the Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat. We did fix it because people did actually uh, hit the server boost. Owen, Owen, Owen. I know you see you going up and down right there. Chill out. And then Owen, wait, Owen, you should be able to just put yourself in there. Owen, 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 stop it. Owen, you're you're a Twitch mod, so you should be able to move yourself in there whenever you want. So yeah, I did I did edit the link so it could be exclamation point the Discord. I mean the Dark Sage, because uh people boosted the server, so we was able to get the vanity link back. So yeah, are we talking about sales? I'm popping in though. Uh Chase the Prime enough of eye candy. Don't worry, Joseph, that's what we got the 18 plus chat for. Don't worry about that, Joseph. That's what we got the 18 plus chat for. We're trying to pull up too. Uh, One Piece is peak. You can't change my mind. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. No, I'll take it in the back seat. <laughs> you know how it go. Chase can't do his research anymore like he used to. Facts. 
Facts. That means Drake is better than uh, Kanye. That's what people have been saying in Discord. Sales equate sales equate greatness. Sales equate greatness. I'm praying for your sanity tonight. Matt, I'm ready for the smoke tonight. I'm ready for the smoke. Tonight's a smoke show. You know, it's a hot take debate show, but it's not a smoke smoke show because y'all know what we do on the smoke shows, but you know, it's a debate show. Okay, Chase, it changed my mind. I'm waiting for you to give me a, a topic. It's almost a one-year anniversary. Time to campaign for Masha to bring back the good old times. Did Owen, oh, I thought Owen put himself in there again. You know what? Invite the speak since Owen kept doing the thing earlier. Uh, hey, Chase, I'm at a beach right now, so I so I got to go, unfortunately. I just want to pop in and say hello. Thank you, Deezen, for coming through. I highly appreciate that, man. I hope you have a good time at the beach, though. Uh, make sure you don't get sunburned. I don't know if you're black or not, but make sure you don't get sunburned. Uh, let me unmute myself. Uh, make sure when y'all are coming in the Discord that y'all don't, like, have the stream playing in the background. Y'all could, Well, y'all can have it playing in the background. Make sure it's muted, though. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Make sure y'all mute that stream in the background. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, Owen. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good. I'm glad that I, you... Wait, so how do I... How do I... Uh, how do I... How do I... How do I... How do I... How do you what? How do I put myself in? I have no idea. You're a mod, though, so you should be able to just move up, move in here whenever you want. You should be able to. Because you... Yeah, that the Twitch mod, like, roll. You should have it. Let me see. I just don't have it. Wait, is this another? Is this another account? You should. You should have a Twitch mod role. Sages Knights. Okay. Yeah, you should. You should have had that. You should be able to move yourself in here and out of here. Now I got it. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. I can hear me. All right. What up, Kujo? How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing good. I'm. A, I'm a little tired. Just got off work, man, but it's all right. I feel you. I feel you, man. Hard day at the at the uh, hard day in the graveyard. Yeah, you could say that. Putting awesome. put them bodies in the dirt. Uh, we don't, nah. don't talk about that. That's uh, secret information. Okay, mute Owen. He stinks. That that was Matt uh, Owen. He That's a hater. Matt's a hater. Hey, Matt, do be hating. All right, Matt boys. Either. All right, boys. So I gotta ask y'all questions since y'all are both on here. All right. Step order. Step Bro Joe asks, what do you think is better? JoJo's or One Piece? No, no, no. <laughs> we do healer. Are you dead ass, Ed Bowie? I'ma ask again. <laughs> what do you think is better? JoJo's or One Piece? Nah, um low key one piece. Low key. Okay, I know, so I know, I know I'm gonna get some hate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are we judging this based off of exactly? <laughs> nah, um, I'm I I don't know how to how to judge it per se. I'm just going off like I guess more so enjoyment, just overall. I would think, not necessarily which has the best story, which one has the best characters. Da da da. I just think whatever made me enjoy the series more. Okay. Okay, One so you piece. so you enjoy One Piece more? Yes, currently. And so I because have not you read Steel Ball Run or Judge Ruin. So So because you enjoy One Piece more, that's what makes it better to you. It would it would make yeah, or how would I put it? Not objectively better, I would say, because Obviously, One Piece doesn't clear JoJo in every aspect, in every category, but it's just I would prefer One Piece over JoJo's. Okay. I guess. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Owen, it's your turn. JoJo's or One Piece? I'm just kidding. Uh, One Piece. Yeah. So why are you saying? So why do you say One Piece? Because you gotta look at the you gotta look at the logistics, right? So like you got the um, you got the um, I got the what? <laughs> you got like the the fucking I mean the um the, the crap in the, the um the story right? <laughs> okay. 
One Piece has the more in-depth story. Okay. Something you can sink into. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and you a you a one weird man. So it has the more something you can. Say, what are you staring? Bro, some more the more uh you can like more sink into it compared to JoJo's, right? Because like JoJo's it has like the parts and stuff. So like honestly, you could start at part five if you really wanted to, you know. What? What is? Because if you start part five, like if you watch part five before you watch any other part, you don't really miss anything, you know. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, but would you be a but would you be a bit confused on nice. who Jodoro is or who Koichi is or How who Dio is? Come apart. Why are people getting stands? Things like that. Anything for that, Owen? Oh. Uh, uh. So basically, you like One Piece more like, because you like the story more in One Piece. In the the the, uh, the um like the uh, uh, oh, oh the characters. Mm. I would like to add in because Owen is struggling to put his words together. I would like to say. I do enjoy one, the lore in One Piece and that there's a lot of stuff to look forward to rather than JoJo's because like like recently, especially these last few chapters in like the manga, like you get so excited over the all the things around the world, those details are slowly starting to come together in the world because the world building is so massive. And like I appreciate that about One Piece's story. So now heading into the end game portion of One Piece, we're about to see a whole bunch of crap that's about to like just hit us, and it's gonna make us like fans excited. Whereas JoJo's, you just kind of more so like you got the, each individual story per part, but you get the hype moments per part, which but, is awesome. But oh, that's what I said. But so, so this is the thing, right? <laughs> well, Owen, you probably said that you just didn't articulate it well. <laughs> So I let me like, let me talk to people in chat real quick. Because like, you look, like, look, like, like think about it. if you started in Wano in One Piece, you'd be like, what? You know. But if you started yeah, yeah. on Part Five of JoJo, it wouldn't matter as much. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hold up a second, guys. Uh, shout out to East Coast. Uh, hot take: Chase's viewers just want to see him doing jumping jacks. Um, that's actually kind of facts. Um, but let me let me go ahead and tackle this right. <laughs> Matt says, "All right, I might have to pull up." Okay, so this is my thing, right? <laughs> A lot of you, both of you guys are just saying basically that the story is better. For me with JoJo's, when people say JoJo's has no story, I get it what you mean. If it doesn't have an intricate, woven, deep story with deep storytelling aspects, I get that. But for me, JoJo's isn't like that. JoJo's is like the first of its kind to where it doesn't have a very narrow, singular narrative throughout the whole series. Literally, each part <laughs> is a quote-unquote bizarre adventure. You like right yeah, there, right there. Yes, I guess. Yeah, so my thing is, JoJo's does have a jo JoJo's, JoJo's is bad. No, no, I didn't say I'm you said it's bad. I didn't say you say it was bad. I'm just saying. But most y'all, but both of you are both agreeing that because the story is better in One Piece, that it makes One Piece better. From what y'all been, what I've been hearing, I think Kujo said that the characters make it better as well. Um, I, 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 I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, that's what. Uh, that's what. Uh, Oh, that's what Owen said? Oh, I apologize, Owen. I apologize. I'm yeah. live on stream apologizing to Owen. I apologize, Owen. Yes. But yeah. I, I honestly think that the characters are... In... No. See, you just lost your apology. <laughs> like I was just saying. I To me, I like JoJo's more because to me, the only thing One Piece has over JoJo's is the story. Yeah, the story of One Piece is good because the whole thing is going and to characters. one single goal. Uh, I can't agree with that. I enjoy all the characters from JoJo's a lot more than the ones from One Piece. There are some great character moments, but let's be real. I'm not... I'm sorry, but Frankie isn't better than any character in JoJo. Oh, yeah. Chopper isn't better... Cho Chopper isn't better than any character in JoJo. Hey, we're pulling up. Fra not Frankie. Brooke, Brooke isn't better than any character in JoJo. Stop it. Chopper's so loose, bro. Chopper's so 
No, okay, let's go with characters like nice. that. Is Law at least better than majority of JoJo's characters? No, or because to me, he really hasn't... To me, all he's had is character development rather than character growth. So the only reason y'all feel for Law is because y'all had his backstory. But if Law was... But Law's been the exact same person since we met him. There has been no change with his character at all. He has not learned anything. And that'd be cool, but this is a story-driven series, so I need to see character development over time. When it comes to JoJo's, I'm with these characters for a finite amount of time. I'm not with them the whole ride of JoJo. So it's all right if I don't see major character development from these characters compared to a series like One Piece where I'm following these characters for a majority of the series. We've been with Law for about what? Since Punk Hazard to Wano right now, right? And we're still probably going to be with them. I haven't read the latest chapter. Guys, don't spoil it for the anime only. But gotcha. to me, Law hasn't done anything. Law's, I'll, I'll be real with you. Law peaked to me. He peaked. In his backstory? And in Punk Hazard. Those are the only two times he peaked. And he only peaked in Punk Hazard because he came off cool. That was the only reason. There was no like great defining character moment besides in his backstory. After that, to me, Law isn't cool. And Wano, they put him on the same level as Kid. Yeah, I didn't really respect Law like that anymore. I'm sorry. That's just that's just my opinion. There's a that's a that's one thing with One Piece is that a lot of the characters for as long as we follow them, they don't really go through that much character development. This is the one series where I see that characters don't really change over time. Like, yes, they have yeah. changed. I'm not saying that they haven't changed, but they don't change a good amount over well, okay. over a thousand chapters. You get what I'm saying? They're generally the same character uh -oh. the whole uh -oh. way uh -oh. through. Put a different what about Sanji? How does Sanji compare to some JoJo characters? Sanji is one of my top three favorite straw hats. If okay. Besides Luffy, he's my favorite straw hat. <laughs> Sanji's my favorite, but that's only because of the backstory and because of Whole Cake. That's only because of one arc. So what about during Wano when he had that one moment? Didn't care. You did not. Whoa. To me, Wano was a disappointing arc to me. Dang. To me, Wano solidified to me that every arc in One Piece is generally the same thing. Oh, we randomly just hit this island that's somehow in trouble by someone taking it over. Let's defeat the big bad. <laughs> One Piece is the same thing every arc, and that's not bad. That's not that's not the worst thing, but we can't just act like One Piece isn't doing a lot of formulaic stuff in each arc. You get what I'm saying? We get a lot more character development from the characters that we meet on those islands and that we leave on those islands. The characters that stay with us, they have the least amount of character development to me. Okay, and that that brings up a good point to me because I've seen this a lot recently. But I'm in a group chat with some friends who diss on JoJo's a lot. Mm -hmm. So you just brought up that one piece is very uh can't say the word properly, but formulaic a formula. Yeah, formulaic. Mm -hmm. So JoJo's is the same since part three. We've got and it's nothing against JoJo's. I'm I'm personally fine with it, but it's very formulaic when it comes to oh, we have to fight a different stand each time before we get to the major big bat, and then we gotta fight and destroy the big bat, and it's been that same way part three, four, five so far from six in the anime and from what i saw in the manga and i don't know how it is in seven or eight is Probably that is seven. that but wait isn't that not every anime when we first got to namek on dragon ball z we had to fight everybody until we got the freezer right in dragon ball in the cell saga we had to fight to everybody until we got to cell right you get what i'm saying like we do that every arc in yu yu haka show they had to fight everybody in the tournament until yusuke got to uh tagoro we do that every 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 series, but it's the fact of how One Piece goes about it is what makes it formulaic. Like it's always, oh, Luffy has to go against the head guy. Zoro always goes against the second in command. Nami, uh, Usopp, and all of them, they always had those goofy little fights in the middle of all that. You get what I'm saying? Like that's the same thing. Right. Every single arc in One Piece. At least with JoJo's, they change it up a bit but and make the fights very creative. You get what I'm saying? Say it again. I'm sorry. I said, but they gotta do that. Well, they don't have to do that. Y'all know how people. Y'all know how people complain about how Vegeta didn't get the dub in Dragon Ball Super. He, he deserved the dub. No other character in One Piece gets the dub besides Luffy in the Big Bad. How can we don't complain about that? I'm, I'm just saying. How can we? We have over a thousand. We have over a thousand chapters of that. We have over a thousand chapters of that. But we always complain about that only with Dragon Ball Z and not One Piece. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You gotta. You gotta think. You gotta think, right? Okay, so let me think. think about who's playing basketball? Who's playing basketball right now, right? Okay. And we have uh, LeBron on one team. And then we have Kevin Durant on the other team, right? LeBron is a superstar and Kevin Durant are superstars. 
But that doesn't mean exactly. without the. Put, but see, this the thing though. Look, they're not the ones. They're LeBron, LeBron ain't. On but, Le, but LeBron ain't. Put, but see, that's the thing. LeBron and Kevin Durant aren't always the ones getting the winning shots. They're not always the one getting the winning shots. In these man. arcs, the LeBrons of these arcs and the Kevin Durant's of these arcs are always the ones getting the winning shots. At least on those, if you make that comparison, those teammates, some of them, maybe LeBron every now and then, here and there, they're making the winning shots. It's not always LeBron just making that game-winning shot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I see that. Uh oh, Matt, Matt's trying to come in. Right. Matt, you have yeah, been invited in. Bring Matt in. Bring Matt in. Time to leave. Time to leave. Dude, what's up, Matt? Oh, I apologize, Matt. That I didn't see you over there. I was, I was getting other... my bag. Us, Matt. Dude. You know, we just got some. It's all good, dude. You were just spitting. That's all. Uh, what would you like? Go ahead. Go ahead. Deluxe, I, cho I chose violence tonight. Uh -uh. I gotta, wake, I gotta wake the One Piece meat riders up. I gotta wake them up. I'm tired of the JoJo slander. Tired of every Wait, slander. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really care if someone likes JoJo's more than. than you know. I mean, I don't either. I don't either. But you know, this this conversation kind of stemmed from what was happening in the Discord earlier. Um. I mean, if I had to pick, obviously, I'm going to pick JoJo's, but, like, I'm going to stem off from what you guys are talking about. You guys really talked about, like, the story and, like, the characters. Um, I do think both sets of shows really have interesting characters. And kind of from what Joseph said way before, he said that One Piece really makes you care about the characters way more. But I feel like, hmm, let me try to provide it, because I'm just thinking from, like, so... Providing part five to like One Piece, I feel like part five and JoJo's has really like sob stories and like super realistic real life stories that you can relate to. They make you feel bad for the characters, but like every single One Piece like origin story with the cast has also really sad stories. So Agreed. I guess, and I guess the sad stories just make you care of them for them some degree. But it's kind of like Chase was saying. But like those those like origin stories like. It's nothing but, like, good origin stories and doesn't really give you, like, a lot of good character development. At least from what I've read, given I stopped right before Marine Ford, I think four arcs was enough for me to, like, digest of what I really got out of it. And if you tell me I have to read up to a certain part for it to get good, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna believe you. Because <laughs> it shouldn't take over 500 chapters for something to become, become something tolerable and within, enjoyable. But, um... I guess going off all that, like, obviously these are certain strong suits within One Piece that, like, people already recognize because it's been around for so long, so long, obviously, but, <clears throat> like, I go by the structure of, say, you have a good story, good characters, good villains, like, character development, like, main character motives that, like, drives them to, like, develop as a character, and I do, I do think, within One Piece, I do, I do think Luffy is a really good MC. I do enjoy him, I like, just individually as a main character. I do think the story is a bit, eh. And, like, given it is, like, shonen S since it's been around since the 90s, but, like, it's something that, like, Oda has to continue, else it takes away from, like, the experience and, like, having such a massive switch up. Hold up, hold, hold up, Matt. Go ahead, go Honest, ahead. Honestly, I do see Owen's point. I realize he does know what he's talking about, and I'm going to apologize. Owen... I apologize. You were right. I was wrong. I should have never took her home. I should have just boned fantasy on my phone. I'm sorry, Owen. Owen, what is wrong with you? He was quiet. <laughs> what is wrong with... Okay. Oh, wait. Joseph, Joseph wants to get in the chat, too. Owen, what is wrong with you? But, um, it kind of you didn't get the reference, bro? <laughs> Same. Same. I, I feel like I get the... It's not coming to me right now. Pause. But even to kind of like stem off what I was saying about like things that like make a good story, I feel like not to sound like all high and mighty, but I feel like all like critics or like people who like interpret like good stories go off these like basis of a structure of how you're supposed to like like digest a story. So I feel like that makes sense to use those main 
uh, I guess, bullet points of like when judging something. If that makes sense. What are you saying that we should go by a certain structure to judge these stories? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even when you, I mean, so if you're just saying like One Piece is better than JoJo's, I feel like if you're just saying like strictly enjoyment, like obviously like the one story you want to win is gonna win over. So like Owen was like, I enjoy the story more. So like obviously you don't enjoy JoJo's story, so you enjoy One Piece. So like that's gonna win. But like there's like a story and like a set of characters and like a bunch of villains and a bunch of world building. You know, like uh, there's main character development, like I was saying. And there's just like meaningful deep down like themes like i feel like luffy is a fantastic representation representation of like what it means to be free and like what freedom is kind of like comparing to like aaron and it's like freedom is like the main story like theme and like betrayal mm -hmm. of attack on titan like, i feel like luffy is the absolute prime example of what it means to be free and like chase after your dream like i feel like the the idea of like hey being the pirate king and like finding the one piece is like that's like the story but like what oda is actually trying to portray of like what luffy is is like much different like an actual like meaningful theme oh pk that's that's matt talking right there i'm spitting right now bro <laughs> you certainly can like there are models of stuff to analyze and interpret stories for a tax like, pyramid just, feel like, just like falls flat and it's just like meaningful like meaning not meaningful meaningless like talk because you already know what the obvious answer is when asking the intended question you know mm -hmm. okay so i pulled up uh what um uh, what Cass was talking about with the fray tags uh pyramid so i'm gonna pull it up on chat right now. I mean, i'm gonna pull it up on twitch right now and so this is fray tags pyramid that uh Cass referenced and the the bottom of the uh the bottom before it starts building into the pyramid is the exposition then we have the star where it starts to build up as the inciting incident i guess what makes what sets the story off the problem then we have the rising action you know all the stuff that happens in the middle the climax the falling action and then the resolution so i guess this you is a certain we're going back to english class bro shut, shut up Owen. that's pretty much how every story is inside it but like every I keep saying like, I need to stop saying that because yeah, PK now pointed it out. <laughs> Man said like every other word. Oh, you're going to come in here and judge me, at least come in here and spit. How are you going to critique uh, my language? Chase, this is just a suggestion, Matt, but could you do you? a One Piece Arcs tier list video? Uh, we already did that on this on this uh, actual Twitch stream. Not this stream, but obviously we did this like two years ago. It's it's a video up on uh, Read the Dark Stage. Which one we call it? Matt, but yeah. I am not... That's a good reference. That's a good reference. Uh, yes. Obviously, right. every story, every story drags each point of that pyramid to a different degree, which makes it, you know, makes any story, I guess, likable. I guess it depends. I like always say it depends what you intend to get out of the story and what you want from it. That's really what matters before you even have a de structured debate about something. So the one so, thing I want to, I'd rather like rate a series off of, I seen this on Twitter, like I think a year or two ago, because my homie showed it to me and it, it was a perfect way to like, kind of like judge it. It was like, uh, the way to judge it is like, um, you know, plot, protagonist, antagonist, side characters, uh, the setting, the yeah. world building, all that type of stuff. And yeah, basically, basically, you know, whichever ones yeah. suit you better on the, on that aspect. You know, it's probably the better series in your eyes. Balls. Yeah, that's very uh, what, true. What's wrong with you, Owen? <laughs> that's also very true. So I feel like, like if we the could... The biggest if... thing I say... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. I know one thing they were saying is like, one, uh, JoJo's part three is too long, but like, I feel like... Let me, let me try to put this into a structured, uh, well-thought-out thing. JoJo's part three drags out certain aspects of it but one piece drags out every single arc and no one gets tired of that dang that's kind of and fair. i feel like and I, and I feel like oda includes in a lot of unimportant uh valuable time on certain characters i think me and joseph talked about this before there's a lot of unimportant uh action that take events yeah. that take place within certain especially arcs of one during 
Wano, there's that one specific fight. I'm not. I won't spoil, but obviously there's that one fight everybody knows about that drags on for too long. It had too much focus throughout some of the chapters in the later portion of the fight or in the the rooftop portion. So I I can see what you mean by that. Oda definitely does add too many unimportant events and tries to drag them out too much. I mean, Senior Senior Pink in Dress Rosa. Yeah, him and Frankie, for example. I just, like, I'm just curious on like, what's the difference? Like, when does it become a problem with JoJo's? Because no one has a problem with One Piece when they do it, and that's why I said I feel like One Piece is too protected because it gets too many passes for like Oda's shitty storytelling, honestly, and how much he drags it out. So, like, when is the line drawn? You know. Because if JoJo's can't do it, why does One Piece get allowed to do it? And no one says anything about that. And it gets called Peak. I mean, you know I call <laughs> JoJo's Peak, so. They're both <laughs> Peak. I mean, I call JoJo's Peak, but like, honestly, I, I, I could give a fair assessment of it. But I, I always say before starting it, it's not for everyone. I do get it. But it's like that with any story given. I feel like One Piece is definitely a bit more. Uh, is it the barrier of entry? I don't know if that's the correct word, but is it for me? It's easier for someone to get into One Piece than it is for JoJo's. Really? Easier to get into? Yeah, because One Piece is something where it's like it's very it's it's kind of like standard, but it's like high grade standard. You get what I'm saying? With JoJo's, it's very. I guess I told you like the first episode I seen the JoJo's. I told my homie this that recommended it to me. I just stopped watching because I was like, I don't know what the F is happening on this first episode. I'm confused. I'm turning this off. He was like, no, 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 Chase. He was like, give it another chance. He said, just watch the whole, watch the first part through. He said, just get through the first eight episodes. You'll be good. I'm like, all right. So I just sat down. I watched it all one night. And I'm like, all right, that was cool. I'm I'm chilling on that. I said, let's go to the next part. And then, you know, to me, JoJo's is definitely something. I don't want to say off-putting, but to me, it's a bit, it's a bit harder to get into because People aren't used to the characters changing out all the time. A battle system changing a lot over the time. Like, com- from Hamon, the stands is a completely different battle system. From hand-to-hand combat yeah. to basically a Pokemon fighting for you. A Pokemon that's attached to your life force. Yeah, like, no. Like, I can see why people can get thrown off by that at first. And I've seen, and I've tried to describe yeah. JoJo to people when they're fighting. And they're like, oh, they're not actually fighting themselves? It's, it's an imaginary thing fighting for them? And I'm like, look, it's not, cool. it's not like that. You're taking it out of context. And so, like that, the non hand to hand combat can also put them off. Some people, not all, but like, I, like, I got a home. on your exposure when going into what you're about to read, One Piece or JoJo's. I'm talking about like probably like the average casual fan. The average casual fan like, will be in the One Piece more than JoJo. Yeah, well, that's even probably, with that's um, even before you get into the story, like just the art style because of how unique it is, how they're drawn. That I've seen that's been like off putting to a lot of people. Talking about, about JoJo? Oh, uh, yeah. And see, the thing is, I guess when it comes to me, like, I guess to me, like, the thing is, if I'm talking about the art, like, I don't really, like, my friends, my homies, you know, I was hanging around homies who more so watched anime than read manga. They read manga here and there, but for them, like, their primary source of anime and manga was anime. So, when I first watched JoJo's, and if you look at it back then, it looked way better compared to its contemporaries. And it still looks and it's still on par for animes now. And I'm talking about just part one. Mm-hmm. I will say the style though might be off putting. Especially if you look at the yeah, memes with no context. Okay. The st- yeah, the style might be off putting with them doing the poses, them wearing crop tops. Yeah. The the very like part be- four especially. Like, like the over muscularness with like the lipstick and everything. Like the characters look very unique. There's nothing else quite like it. I'm just I confused agree. because like all of JoJo's is inspired by American culture. So like, is it okay if America does it but not the Japanese? That's what I'm okay. curious about. Well, <laughs> the thing is, we're not all we're not all versed in American culture. I didn't know half of the stuff that JoJo was referencing until I looked that stuff up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fair. so. I think it's more about like betrayed expectations because you expect it to be like a manga, so it's gonna be like Japanese inspired. Then has all these like American inspirations instead. 
So that might be why some people don't give it a pass, but they'll give like an American work that does the same thing a pass. I can fuck with that. Ishigami, you gotta sub up. Sub up. You won't get the mads, man. Sub up. I don't control the ads. I mean, I can control the ads. Well, I can't make them. I can make them run anytime I want, but I can't control when they run if I don't run them myself. Just, my thing is, <clears throat> I respect what JoJo's has done because not only has it been around since like the 80s, like, Araki has taken a massive risk. Like, not only like <clears throat> doing his bold like designs and art style and like storytelling, like, not only did he step out of Shonen Magazine and turn his story into a Saiyan, his story is like still relevant and like very hot. You know, like people are literally dying for JoJo's part nine to be dropped. And like, oh, yeah. like, like the hype is still there, man. And like these stories have been like, when, well, before One Piece came out, man, like there were like five parts of JoJo's out already. Like, like this man has established himself so that like, the industry bows to him instead of art like he bows to the industry like given oda has done done the, the exact same for shonen and he's probably is what keeping shonen magazine pretty much relevant nowadays not gonna lie i thought matt said iraqi had a massive risk so i, I was so confused <laughs> <laughs> Like I do, I do think One Piece is very good, and I respect what it's done. Given I do not personally like the story, I just feel like a lot of people who read One Piece are not very like aware of like how like it is very good. Given like, but I genuinely don't believe it is like the best shonen by far at all. It it definitely is probably top three or five. And Oda has like Oda has like a massive influence over what he does for like anyone, and like everyone loves Oda and what he does because he's like not a big problem guy in the industry. I just feel like not many people are honest about how okay One Piece is at times because it's not all peak at once. It's like peak at moments. Like my thing is One Piece has a super long. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Are it's you talking to me, Ishigami, or are you talking to Matt? Specify in the uh, chat. Yeah, it's very exposition heavy, like One Piece. And, like, I think I told you this one time. And I feel like Oda has this time where, like, he's, like, dragged out a lot of stuff. And it doesn't contribute to, like, the future. And I feel like I shouldn't have to. No, like, I feel like. But, like, I feel like the payoff is not worth it a lot of the time. Like. Like it wasn't it wasn't worth it in like Alabasta for me. It was okay in Skypea. It was easily not a not worth it at all. I thought any lobby was like much better compared to the past ones with Water Seven and everything. The payoff was a little better because obviously you could tell with Water Seven heading towards into any lobby that you were going towards something bigger. Like it was starting to play off into the more world building aspect that he was building towards. The... Mm hmm. Um, uh, Matt. Ishigami asks, what is your top shonen then? Like my top three shonen or like top five? Uh just top. He just said your top shonen. My top shonen. Um uh, Well, my top shonen are definitely the Dragon Ball, which includes the uh Slam Dunk is considered a shonen and so is JoJo's for one through six. So those can be my top three right there. There you go. If you did want me to include two more, I'm probably gonna put Yu Yu Hakusho in there. Except and for that uh, last arc, though, right? Except for that last arc. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cass says right. Oda gets a lot of passes. Folks really forgot, really quickly forgot about the pedo interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. man, oh, and oh, and Cass called you an old head. <laughs> A lot of people forget that Oda came from the guy who wrote Kenshin, but it's okay. Whatever fits the your debate. All right. Matt has explained his point of why. Why I can't give you a specific why. But basically, One Piece fans they 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 ride they ride a lot. They ride. Like, not all of them. Not all, all of them. Absolute good story. It is. I just, feel like, oh! I just feel like to the extent they make it to be is very uh, over-exaggerated, to say the least. 
Orlando, appreciate the sub, my boy. Yes, sir. Highly appreciate that sub. I, I do think, uh, especially from, I would say, the vocal minority of the One Piece fans, which is the vocal minority for every genre. I mean, for every series. Because I'm pretty sure y'all seen that Twitter thing go viral. Where it was like, oh, mm. Red Rock is more iconic than Kamehameha. Oh, yeah. Which was insane. The, the, yeah. So, some fans be making the whole fandom look bad. We not going to... I have not seen any of Dragon Ball, and I know that statement was just straight cap. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me you never seen anything that my profile picture is from? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I, I did Okay, I've seen snippets from when I was growing up as a kid, but I never got into anime or anything like that until recently, as like dirt, like 2020. So okay, I've been the... trying to get. So right when I started, I'm like, hmm, I do want to start stuff like Dragon Ball, Naruto, things like that. But for me, it's too long yet of a commitment. Especially like once quarantine ended, it was really tough to start because in quarantine, the first one I started was the first long series was One Piece because I had my friend hype it up. He was making me want to watch it. So I'm like, sure. So I started, I binged it all during quarantine. It took me like six or seven months. But then after that, it was like quarantine already basically ended. I was already going back to work, going back to college for a little bit. So then it was like, oh, I got to wait to start Naruto. I got to wait to start Dragon Ball blah 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 until I make time for it to make a commitment so I've been meaning to get into it and I've seen snippets of both Naruto and Dragon Ball when I was a kid but I just don't remember anything because I wasn't into that at the time but I do want to I do want to get into it just get into the manga uh the manga's like what only 200 Orlando with the tier one get this oh yes sir but uh, I highly appreciate that, my boy. Thank you. Why are you redeeming to stop being nasty? I ain't been nasty yet. That's crazy. But uh, I will say, get into the manga. Because a lot of people will trash on Dragon Ball Z, but they they watch the anime. They have not read the manga. And so I had to read the manga myself. It's literally, every, each chapter is only 13 to 15 pages. And it's not wordy. And the first Dragon, Dragon Ball is 16 volumes. You can knock that out on the first. I was reading three to four volumes a day. Would you say you appreciate the fight better in the manga than how the anime represented it, or do you think you said the fights? Yeah, like, do you think the fights are represented better through the anime, or is it just better to you in the manga? Because I feel like Dragon Ball is a series I feel like I should watch because of how the fights are. Yeah. Is it okay reading the manga? And like, is it better to comprehend and like appreciate? Hold up a second. Shout out to Orlando again with the tier one. Get the sub. Yes, sir. Highly appreciate that. The nasty man's on the screen. I know it's coming. Hey, I would say pause, but. Give it here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But um, so my thing is with the only con I have from reading the manga. From being an anime fan for so long with Dragon Ball is that some of the emotional scenes that you get in Dragon Ball Z is like bar none. Like I'm not going to. Sp- I can't really say I'm spoiling it for you because it's, it's happened over 20 years ago, but there's certain right. scenes when certain characters die or mm-hmm. uh, shout out to Orlando again for gifting you, Cujo, a gift to sub. Me. Highly appreciate that. But there's certain aspects where the fights are going to be better in the anime, but fights like the Frieza fight was dragged out in the anime. Like yeah. some stuff, like it was dragged out to where it was like, okay, it's supposed to have been five minutes before the planet blows up. Why are we still doing 30 episodes over this but also you can also just watch kai even though it doesn't have the original dub that i've grown accustomed to and that i've grown fond of it does have better voice acting PK and it's a bit more concise and closer to the manga except for the majin Buu arc that's when it starts to do the filler stuff which is weird but the sad moments the emotional moments of dragon ball z and some of the fights in dragon ball z are fire hey, in the anime yes Chase, kai still has filler Yes, and the Majin Buu arc, Pretty which sure is it does. it's like you know the Majin Buu arc. Once they started that to the Majin Buu arc, it's called Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapters. They literally still added filler in there, like when Majin Buu is just running around, you know, doing all that stuff. Like they literally still added filler, or they kept the filler, quote unquote. And they said that there's a weird green tint on that part of the series as well. That's weird. 
It's very weird. I'll definitely try it out soon when I get the chance. I got a few mangas I'm gonna read first before I do that, but Dragon yeah. Ball is the best show in Facts. Uh Dragon what let me see. Uh you could give subs. How does that work? So whoopsie daisy, it should say somewhere like if you're sub, it should say somewhere down below where you sub that, it should be like gift a sub. And basically what you do is you could give someone a sub, you could give someone anonymously a sub, or you could gift a random person a sub. You get what I'm saying? But if you want to gift a certain person a sub, you go over their name, you click it, and it should say, like, oh, gift a sub. You should be able to see that, I think. But, yeah, that's how it goes. And basically, when you sub, you're obviously supporting the creator, but obviously, you don't get no ads for, like, a whole month. And you should be able to do a, a free Prime sub if you have Amazon Prime. But uh, Tyshawn, Tyshawn, or Tyshawn, I'm not sure how to say that. But uh, they say Dragon Ball Z over OG Dragon Ball over Dragon Ball Super, over GT. I, I I I would switch. It depends on what you're looking for for Dragon Ball Z and OG Dragon Ball. I would switch to OG Dragon Ball with Dragon Ball Z, but that's a fire list. I'm not even going to cap on that one. I like that. Yes, sir. Not to count. No. Being totally yeah. honest, I don't think One Piece is in my top five shonen, like manga. <laughs> what are you about to say, Joseph? What are you about to say, Joseph? What? Yo, what, what is your top five? Top what is your top five? My top five? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, 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 it better not be cute stuff. It better not be cute stuff, Joseph. I swear to God. What's your top five show? Uh, I would say uh, Pokemon Special is very underrated. Uh, yeah, Dino that broke him. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's 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 Dragon Quest for anyway. Joseph, you gotta speak English. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Da, 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 the whatever. That's Dragon Quest, the Adventures of Die. Yeah, I think it's called know. Dragon Quest: The Adventure of Die here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Yeah, like, one special is called Pokemon too. Adventures here. And then, uh, yeah, Bleach is called Bleach. <laughs> I thought it was called Clorox. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? You might be right. I'm just saying. Uh, that's at least three, top three off of memory. Uh, I I do like Spy Family more than One Piece. Oh! Wait, all the the manga? Oh! Yeah. And I I like Ruri Dragon more than One Piece. Ruri Dragon only has six chapters. Now that's crazy. That's crazy. Joseph, that's crazy. Um, I'm caught up in the anime and the manga. And six chapters of this worry dragon is better than one. <laughs> well, he's not saying it's better. He says he likes it more. See, now we go into that PK I mean, territory because oh, PK's on the stage right now. No, it's not PK. PK, well, stop. Go, PK, do we have yeah, to start this conversation? I would say that uh, it has to be the same thing. Manga no way is an art form and thus it's subjective. So I will say yeah, that yes, worry dragon is better than one piece. Oh! <laughs> Indefinite hiatus. Yeah, because of the, the manga. What beats his numbers anytime soon? He'll get there. Cat, uh, yeah, cat, only you heard about that. Cat, cat says it's Anya that does it. PK, you wild. So, well, do we have to start this conversation too, PK, or do we need to wait a little bit for that one? Uh, Mm. I already said you better, pull, you better pull up the dictionary before you say anything oh, crazy. Oh. <laughs> if you like it, uh, Chase, I yes. do like uh, since uh, JoJo started off as a shonen, I like part one the best. So that oh would also God. be in my top five, I guess. Instead of Ruri Dragon. Okay, I, okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Anything with JoJo's, I don't care. Even if it's part one, I don't care. <laughs> okay, okay. PK, what's your top five shonen? Don't you be giving me no no don't be giving me no rich dad poor dad light novels in here, dog. <laughs> For one, that that's not a light novel and it's not a show <laughs> Just just go, just name it. What you got? Um, all right, Naruto, best best manga, period. Oh, okay. The manga the manga is better than the anime. I will say though. Um. Yeah, I best up. And then obviously, One Piece. Attack on Titan, Yu Yu, Doctor Stone, and that Doctor Mid, confidently. He said, "Confident." I almost fell to my knees in the room, bro. There was no Dragon Ball on that list, but I could do, I guess. 
Jack Tesla. Tesla down at like the. Is down what? Down by like twenty. Yo, PK, get what? the f off the stage, dog. Get the f off the stage. <laughs> what? Are you dead ass, Ed Bowie? It's what? Um, so Chase, uh, when you get back to Naruto, I need you to tell me if it's worth uh, going through the manga, or you know, no, do not want to do it. You will not want to. You will not want to do it, man. Shout out uh, to Lil Debbie the for the uh, follow. I've already seen I mean, the anime. Shout out to Lil Debbie for the follow and the one in the one bit. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, Joseph. I'll definitely but let you like, know. Honestly speaking, I did watch the anime. I, I clearly wasn't like that impressed. I said it was a four out of ten, but to me, like five is average. So it's oh, just like slightly below average. Five, five is average. Uh, I. I am willing to try the manga because the manga is the manga is really easy to read and like flip through really fast. So I can I can give it a shot. No, so no. if you would say like the manga would change no. my opinion on the TV show, then I I can try that. I've done both in the ex so, like, in the manga Naruto. just was a better experience. That's what Cass says. The manga is definitely the way yeah, to go with art, Naruto. The art's pretty enjoyable. Kishimoto has some decent art. Okay, what up, Gotti? Like the first Kishimoto manga I tried was. Please don't uh, say Samurai 8. 8. Oh my and god. I was not Joseph. Impressed. Joseph. Because, like, when I got into manga, that was what was new, right? Joseph. <laughs> what? You hurting my feelings today, man. I mean, I wasn't going to start with Boruto because that was like a sequel to something that already existed. So Samurai 8 was there. Some people start with Boruto instead of Naruto. That's crazy. You? Wow. Yeah, that, that is crazy. It's like starting with Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z rather than Dragon Ball. Well, that's what we did in America, Joseph. We had to go through that. That's yeah, it's suffering. Man, just call us normies, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Gotti has the best shonen list, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh I my would god. say I would like to add out of the no. ones I've seen so far, my current top five would have to be One Piece. AOT isn't that's shonen, so I'll say AOT, Hunter Hunter, FMAB, or what I put FMAB over JoJo's. FMAB and JoJo's. I don't I don't want to rank any of those in that order. One piece AOT, JoJo's. Has nobody read the Pokemon manga? No, Joseph. That's a very it's a very small minority. I gotta tackle it soon, but it's a very small minority, Joseph. All right. I want to I read it like, though. You talking about the one that I have on my shelf, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to read it. Yeah, uh, that story is pretty good. Um, I thought like my list would be like a lot close to yours because of how few shonen manga I've read. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, if you haven't tried Pokemon uh, Adventures, uh, give it a shot. I have heard good things about it. I just haven't been urged to read it, to be honest. Yeah, I don't have the urge at all. I saw enough Pokemon as a kid. I enjoyed them. Like, yeah, I did my fair share of time with Pokemon. So I don't know how much I want to read that. <laughs> all the board stains start with Boruto. Now, that's crazy. I mean, it's true. OG Naruto or Shippuden? Uh, I go with OG Naruto. I think it's better as a story, as a narrative. But I think Shippuden has better fights. So to me, Shippuden is more fun while Naruto, I feel like, is... It has a better narrative. So, Chase, are you saying that Shippuden has a better fight than Hinata versus Negi? Yes, every fight, every fight in pre time, every fight in pre time skip is better than Negi versus Hinata. That's Cap, Chase. No, Joseph. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, Joseph. We're not. Rock Lee versus Garo was way better. I'm that is way better. That is one of the best underdog fights in anime. If I'm if I'm really spitting right now, I mean, Hinata was an underdog, and she lost. <laughs> yeah, but he put up a fight. She, she just got destroyed. Was, look, knowing that what you knew, like afterwards about uh, Gara, did he even get close? Yes. I, I don't think well, not, 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 not to beating him. him. Not to not to beating him, but he did something. So Hinata pretty much made as much progress as Rock Lee did. 
Nah, no, because let's c- come on, because like let's let's be real. Gara had a whole tailed beast inside of him. Rock Lee was fighting so, that. Yeah. Look at the time. At the time, they made such a big deal about how like their special eye was like the best eye. So yeah, she was eye 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 something like really strong. I mean, but you gotta like practice with it to get good with it. It's not just like a natural gift. I mean, I, I guess. To me, if anything, you still have to enhance it. But to me, if anything, Neji was more of an underdog than Hinata because he was born in the in the lesser side of the tree or whatever. That is fact. But Hinata was born on the stronger side. Now that's crazy, it's Joseph. Like the side of the family. Yeah, but entering the fight, who is stronger? So she's the underdog in that fight. That's how fights work. Like my no. dad could be like a, a commando, and like, but I just like I'm a sedentary like person. I'm not gonna like beat up somebody who's like off the streets. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I mean, a really bad comparison. Uh, Cass says, I like the Hinata fight. It was important for that arc, but Rock Lee's fight just hit different. Facts. No, I'm saying this. This this one moment was better than anything that happened in that Hinata versus Neji fight. When Rock Lee got on that little statue and Guy Sensei said, Yeah, you can do it. He dropped the weights. Oh, it was game time, baby. It was game yeah, time. Yeah, he unlocked all these gates and got nothing for it no how many gates did he unlock like two right was it only two three i, I thought it was three three i think it was three yeah if he went any higher i think he would have had like permanent damage on his body considering how young he was i think that's what they said i mean yeah, rock lee to me is the biggest i mean to me he was the biggest disappointment in, in naruto I, i'm not gonna cap but that fight no, it was no. just it was, yes he is pk stop that oh. Rock Lee is the biggest disappointment in Naruto. In Naruto, yes. Biggest disappointment. Maybe so in mu- anime. In anime. No, no, I'm saying in Naruto. But I didn't I say it all in anime. No, they really it. tried to sell him because like he what punted Sasuke earlier. So they were really really trying to sell him as like some big deal. I mean he was. Oh, Konohamaru. Well, like a couple minutes. And then he was never a big deal again. PK, no one cared about Konohamaru. Stop that. No one cared about he him. He, he learned the Rasengan like 10. Is that a little kid who learned sexy jitsu from Naruto? It is. Okay. Oh, nobody cared. To me, when I was watching, look, I was about, I was probably ten watching Naruto. I didn't like Konohamaru. I thought he was, I thought he was annoying. He was a little twerp, little dweeb. Like dog, but let the Chase, main character do what he's doing. Chase, he's a captain of a crew. Oh, uh, uh, that's come on, jo- Joseph. Stop being nasty. <laughs> Are you dead ass, Ed Bowie? Stop being nasty, Joseph. He has leadership qualities. Uh huh. Look where he got him. He definitely in Hokage. Yeah. I don't know. He might be in uh, Boruto. Are you saying Naruto's gonna die? Yes. I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we t- we we doing too much tiptoeing? What's you up? Know, you know the Hokage system should just be exactly the same as the um, Kenpachi system. That's what I say. No, no, Joseph. No. How do you become the next Kenpachi? No, 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 Joseph. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it because it's spoilers for people in the chat. But no, no, <laughs> Joseph is just. A, he's not a masochist. But Joseph is just a sick man if he wants that to happen. <laughs> but what's up, PK? What are you saying? Something you know, I was gonna say, Joseph's over here making myself. <laughs> in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, in Grand Theft Auto, in Grand Theft Auto. In game, in game, chill, Yeah, yeah, in, in the game, in the game, in the game. Uh, let me see. We got another Naruto topic. Okay, so come on, we gotta PK. Let's let's be real. I think it's time for us to bring that topic up that we talked about in the Discord earlier. God damn it! <laughs> we gotta bring it up. <laughs> so so Kujo Kujo, can I can I ask you something, Kujo? Sure. <laughs> have you have you partaken in an anime called Demon Slayer? Yes. So, how, how do you feel about Demon Slayer? Uh, basically from the majority 
of what I see in the community. I think the plot from I'm an anime only. No, no, I no, no. From plot, what from what you see, not from what we've seen. Okay, no. Okay, from what I've seen, the plot is very basic, <sighs> mm -hmm. and it is carried by you foldable in its animation. I have no personal connections with any of the characters as much. Maybe a little bit of Tanjiro. I find Inosuke pretty funny. Zenitsu annoying, but overall, I'm not that much of a fan of Demon Slayer. I love the fights, but uh, it's just mid. Me. How the story is said, it's mid. Got it, you are hilarious. All right, now, Anime Kujo, from your, from your profile picture, I can tell that you are a uh, villain saga uh, kind of suit. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Villain Saga? Getting off. It's, it's my number two series of all time. I think it's peak Seinen. Um, so would one of the best characters of the time. So, so so would you say that Demon Slayer is better than Villain Saga because it has more sales? Hell no. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Don't sales dictate whether stuff is good or not? Because if a lot of people no. are buying it, that means a lot of people like it. I personally don't agree with that. That does not correlate to whether or not a series is good or not. Because I think it, it has to start with a fan base. And even though a series, there's going to be good series in different people's eyes. So one series could get a lot of fans with a really hyped fan base. But like a different series doesn't have a lot of fans, but it's good. They just haven't got enough people to recognize it yet. But mm -hmm. that series, that small one, can be better than the bigger one. I don't think sales have to dictate whether or not a series makes it infinite, immediately better than another. So I want to stop you on, on one of your points, right? You said that <clears throat> a series starts with its fan base. Would you argue that Demon Slayer's fan base is way bigger than Villain Saga's? <laughs> From what I've seen, yes, Demon Slayer has a bigger fan base right now. From what I've, from what I notice. So would you not dictate that Demon Slayer is better than Villain Saga because Demon Slayer has more fans? No, I do not agree with that. All right, let, let's let's go ahead or go around the table real quick. I'm a, I'm a, Joseph, <laughs> Joseph, right, okay. do sales dictate whether something is good or not? No. PK, if you're still here, I see you're muted. Do sales equate to series being good or not? No. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, uh, PK. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we gonna we gonna get to you, Matt. Don't worry, yeah, Matt. Uh, Gotti, oh, we we gonna, we gonna get to Matt. We gonna get. Feeling about this, bro. We gonna, we gonna get to Matt. <laughs> Gotti, the do sales. Oh. Hi, Gotti. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. How you doing? Oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, do you do you think because something sold well, it means that it's good? Um, no. Hmm. Now, 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 Matt. Ah, ah. Big man at the table. Matt, how how are you doing tonight, man? Dude. Matt, <laughs> do sales dictate whether a series is good or not? It does not. Oh, everybody is in the greens. Do why do people want to say sales dictate good? I'm ask I'm asking Kiki. And I, well, I mean this this doesn't really stem from our conversation, but she did reference this, and I and that's why when I use her own points against her, she said that I was weird for doing that. But I'm mostly addressing the people in the chat today. MLG man said that. Because Demon Slayer sold more, Demon Slayer is better than Vinland. And he loves Vinland Saga. I have never seen him talk about Demon Slayer, but this man loves Vinland. He said it has to be good. It has to be better. It sold more. So, I, I, I like... like... Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because I'm going to be speaking for a minute. A, I was just going to bring up a point that Cass was saying, I think. Uh, he said that... Um, Sales only indicate popularity. It does not equate to the quality of a series. Because to me personally, people hype up Demon Slayer has a lot of popularity, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it equates to having a good quality story to it. 
But it has I to mean. But it must mean like that. It, <laughs> but I mean, a lot of people are buying into it, though. So why would it not be yeah, good if a lot of people are buying into it? I, I do agree with you, Eric. I do agree with you. I think it's more a casual thing. People are only in it for the fights, so they're like, ooh, let's just get into this series for fights, you know? It's got it's gonna be good. The anime delivered, da da da. Like but like I don't think people really take into account how mid the story is and they kind of just disregard it and like, oh let's just wait to the next fight because this is gonna be so good. Da, da, da. I don't know. It sales clearly only only indicate popularity, but they don't tell you how good a series is based off its story and those other factors. Cass says we literally can't define an objectively best story. So Cass, you're telling me that Peach Boy Riverside is better than a uh, fairy tale? You telling me, Cass, that because Boruto, I guess, quote unquote, maybe sells well, that's it's, it's better than a lot of other series. You both got bad takes on that. Authentic. I am shocked. Oh. Whoever just said that deserves their peeny weeny bit off. I agree. In my opinion, no. But to someone else, yes. Now, Cass, what about the board stands that think Boruto is great? Are you trying to say that Boruto is good? It sold well, Cass. And other people say and other people say it's good. I'm, I'm just saying, Cass. Authentic been speaking wild in Discord about light novels. That's because Authentic, Authentic can't read. Authentic be capping. <laughs> she be using the audiobooks. I don't want to hear it. By audiobooks, I mean the anime. She be watching the anime for those light novels, god dang it. So can we can we can we debunk that sales equal greatness? Can we debunk this? Um, I'll, uh, um, okay. I'm trying to think of how it fits wait, together. Are we all in agreement that sales don't equal a series being better than another for not being as popular? So, so it's kind of like how did how did this stem again? Who was the people in the Discord? So, it, me and me and someone else in Discord originally had a conversation about it, but I wasn't referring to that time. Right. Uh, it was something that happened earlier today because uh, someone was arguing with PK. I forgot who exactly start excited the argument. Oh, uh, <laughs> PK basically was talking about the best and favorite argument, which okay. that's another that's another debate. But he was basically saying me and Chase about to scrap. Put him up, authentic. But um, it stemmed to someone. It stemmed to MLG basically saying stats are stats and stats cannot be cannot be ignored for situations like this and that because of the stats it dictates whether the series is good or not something along those lines i'm i'm really paraphrasing i'd have to look let me see okay so i'm just gonna i feel like okay hmm, i'm trying to think of how to put a well cohesive thought that it makes sense here so this kind of stems from the best in favor argument but oh like, because uh about, so, go ahead go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, let me see. Everything with judges uh is intangible. Best mangas are translated, so Demon Slayer is peak. Oh, okay. So here it goes. PK said so. Demon Slayer is peak, and Matt said if we are going by sales, yes. The PK said we aren't, and then I said this is giving me PTSD from another conversation. <laughs> and because P and because PK said you're saying sales determine what's the best, what's the best? I'm saying no. I don't believe sales matter, and I don't believe in statistics. MLG man said that's ignorant. And Matt says you don't believe in collected data. And I that and I said good. Matt was saying that's how some dictate the best. And then PK said no. On opinions, no. Now on opinions, no. I'm saying no, that's how you determine best selling. That's it. And I says right. it if I forgot what I said right here. I said I'll only go off a of majority thinking if I do a collective data like a poll. I said sales don't dictate opinions because if I buy a movie, if I buy a ticket to a movie, but I didn't like it, they still get the sale. Whether I liked it or not, they still get that sale. So I don't feel like sales dictate statistics, dictate something being good or not. Because if I buy it and I sell it either way, I still. Yeah. And MLG 
quotes PK asking, because PK asks, how is that ignorant? And MLG man says, I don't believe in statistics. And then, you know, Matt, you said, I believe the best is determined by impact it has on genre and the people who draw to this special story. My, my, I guess my qualm with that, see, I like that word qualm. My qualm with that, Matt, I feel like <laughs> when you're talking about a series legacy or goat status, then I can start putting that in there. You feel me? So, but sales, said that. Hmm. sales no, only a representation of how popular it was during the moment. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yes and no. Yes and no. Because obviously we know series that still sell well. well sales is also like how marketable it is to the average person. But you have to think about mm-hmm. when you're marketing mm-hmm. like a certain store. So we're going to compare Demon Slayer and then Demon Slayer reaches a wider audience. So you have to think obviously it's going to sell more than Vinland. You know, mm-hmm. like it, it can reach a wall. Like even before it sells, even before you even put it on the market and like say we're going to put this into a manga, like this can reach a wider audience of kids because it has a more massive appeal and let alone just putting your story within shonen already has a massive appeal compared to Vinland. Mm-hmm. so like you already know you're going to reach a like wider o- audience before you even start selling it so, like, yeah it's it's like a, it's like a it's like a pg-13 marvel movie compared to a rated r fox marvel movie you get what yeah. i'm saying like logan is to me is one of the best superhero movies of all time Far none. It's one of the best. But there's a lot of other MCU movies that have definitely outsold Logan. Because Logan has that rated R, while those other Marvel movies, they got the PG-13 rated, which a lot of other people can see that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't think anyone was disagreeing besides MLG and Kiki. And then, yeah, because uh, MLG says, you know, I was kind of saying, like, you know, because MLG quoted you saying, I don't believe in statistics. And I said four opinions. And he says, what does that have to do with anything? Whether it's an opinion or not, stats or stats. You can't argue with numbers. You can't <laughs> argue because it's based off a sample of people. So if you sample 20 people, all 20 of those people can like something, but then 20 other people can't. Or I mean, like it doesn't matter. But those, okay. No, I'm not arguing for them, but those stats that are collected from those, like, the data is from a massive population, not a small population, though. So like, it, is, it is. And if, if it's uh, still just an opinion. I mean, yeah, I mean, when you dumb it down like that, that that's just like a very idealistic way to view life, though. That, that's what you're talking about, though, not stats here. Talking about having enough <laughs> per capacity. I mean, dude, everything, everything, everything has its own interpretation. If that's what, like, that's a very philosophical view that you're providing instead of just a statistical view. Yeah, because I don't. The, the, the data in front of you is meant to be interpreted, though. That's how it works. That's why there's in-depth data and very broad data that you're being presented with on a marketing level. Yeah. So if you were trying to sell something, then yeah, the, uh, statistics matter. But if you're just talking about what's good and what's bad, it doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, nothing really matters if you want to put it in that perspective. <laughs> no, I matter. <laughs> <laughs> Had ass comment. <laughs> Matt, Matt doesn't uh, believe in BLM. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stop. We're about to get the stream shut down. Bro. <laughs> Matt, uh, Ishigami says, Matt thinks too much. Cass says, stats are not an opinion. How you interpret it can be no, however. No, Matt doesn't think enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> bro, you're not even explaining. I can't explain it any more than that. They're, they're like, it doesn't matter what what 20 out of but 100 like, people. Yeah, but when, when you speak like that, nothing matters, though. Like, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if you want to speak in that terminology, like, none of it matters. When it comes to a thing, like when you make it sound right, like that. It but, like, it's not even worth trying to explain. <laughs> Because you just keep coming back to the same point. We're running in a circle right now. All right. So, why is my thing trying to fight me? That's crazy. Uh, abuse. What we call this this uh, discord discord domestic abuse. I don't know what that is, but that's crazy. Uh, and I said, you know, and uh, PK says if you go ask a hundred people what's better, Demon Slayer or Villain Saga, ninety of them will probably say Demon Slayer. That doesn't make them demons. That doesn't. That doesn't then make Demon Slayer better just because the six six will point in that direction. And I feel like that's where we can start going to cherry picking. You get what I'm saying? Because if you go to the average 
anime consumer, they're probably going to see Demon Slayer over Vinland because Demon Slayer is a lot more accessible than Vinland and Vinland's on Prime. Who's who do you know watching anime on Prime? Oh, I feel Prime. like Nobody at some Prime. point, like we're, we're just like going over the points we talked about on Discord, but I think it all comes down to like what your definition of best is. Like, what are you trying to say by saying what is best? Best is the goal. Best I get, that's what I say. You think it's the best. So many you think something is the best, it's your favorite. It says you would know what that word you would know that word if you actually read books, Chase. Now that's crazy. I do read books. There's a whole bunch behind me. There's over a thousand of them behind me. Villain is on Netflix now. Mm. I guess the better question to ask PK, since he's being very nitpicky here, is what is objectively the best? He's gonna say there's no objective best because it's an opinion. Yeah, you can't there there can't be one. There's no possible way of having one. There's no possible way to have the that's impossible. What I told y'all we're just impossible. you're impossible is impossible. We need to come up with a community grading system. That's what we need to do. I actually kind of agree with that because like I did say, I think in the Discord that yeah, all art is subjective. Our own truth. So like you can never like have a hard quantitative like this is best. That's like measurable, so it's always gonna be opinion. That that's that goes for anime, food, anything that can't be like factual. You do not saying there's an objective best. It's just like a fucking Gandhi pole ass pole. <laughs> oh, if you were talking about like, I'm telling you the best is Naruto. It's my favorite. Okay, well I just gave you a very specific. I just gave oh you God, a very specific are we? Are we do you know what objectively means? Are we going into this topic? Are we are we going into this topic, PK? Not again. Are we going into this topic, PK? We already went over this. There definitely is a possibility to pick an objective best one, even if not everyone agrees. Can Matt stop talking? I'm trying to hear Gotti now. Who is the Shigami? <laughs> He's not even in here either. Yeah, Gotti's not even in here. <laughs> Just gotta be two's burner, bro. <laughs> But y'all keep going, y'all keep going. I was just reading chat. I mean, I'm just saying, like, what is objectively the best? And I'm telling you, that, like, there can't be one. There so can be like, there, there, can, there, there, can be a, there can be a community best. I don't believe in the, de the definition of what? Of objective, which means like- no, I do, I do. If you want to say what well, you're contradicting best. yourself, no, because if you want to say what's objectively the best uh, security system for you, yeah, you can do that. You look up so the you, facts, but yeah, there's no so facts. In opinion. Cass says there is no way to pick objectively best opinion. What y'all on? No, no, I'm not saying there's an objectively best opinion. I'm saying what is the uh, objectively like, best thing, which means we would have to go off like facts, what is it like, like statistical data and like in depth analysis. Which is that exactly is how we get to the, the point of sales. And that's the only data that we have to go off is. I mean, it, it's not just sales, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get into it, but there's, there's a lot you, more to you, use face value sales. You started talking about awards. No one cares about awards. That's you. What do you mean? No one cares about awards. People vote for them every year. If people didn't care, they wouldn't be voting them. Am well, I wrong? Wouldn't the one that wouldn't the one that sells the most just won the award? If it's if it's voted by a fan base. <laughs> well, that's why I said there's certain credible ones and certain ones that are not credible. If you read it. And then and then if it's voted by a committee, it would be like the Grammys. Like, how valid is that? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess when it all comes down to, like like you said, your opinion and what you validate, I guess. I see it as people validate a lot of things they don't have a lot of information on. So what's the difference with this? I guess that's the question that has to be asked. <laughs> Wait, ask it again. I said a lot of people validate a lot of other topics in our lives that have not much, like, grounds to, uh, like, be, like, strong case for, like, a, so... In that particular, I guess, uh, 
a comparison is like religion. A lot of people believe in religion, and that's a good comparison. What what's the difference between that and、uh, just a voting system that people like award ceremonies that people incredible over the years because it's been around for so long. What's the difference? So, would we <laughs> would we say like one of the best rating systems? I guess when it comes to anime, as a collective majority of it, among anime fans, would it be on my anime list? You're probing with that question. You know you are. <laughs> I'm just saying when we do when we talk about collective dat data, collective data, what people think. Yes, yes, yeah. I guess that I, would be the best like source because there really is no other one, you know. That that's、Hell、what I'm no, saying, right? No, no. I'm not saying well, I'm not saying it's very credible. Yeah, we're not saying, saying it's the, the it's the yeah it's the end all be all, See, but it's it's, it's the I feel like it's the best. Context, like, I think it's the best it's that the, we have. Just because we're using it doesn't mean it is like the absolute like、oh, best option in all aspects.、Say. It just means it's our only option. I would only say that Mal is the best option because it has a higher sample size, but it's not、yeah. like verified or anything. People will just、yeah. like abuse the system so hard, but we don't really have that、yeah. many other options. But、That's、also, exactly, you don't have any options. Wouldn't any system, I guess, in that case, be abused? I mean, if it's an online like system where yeah, people aren't tracked online, individually、yeah. with like specific IDs, and yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's the end all be all. It's the number one definitive way. But I think Mal is probably the quote unquote best that we have as of right now. The best for what? To see the sample size and see the majority of what most people think. Size. I mean, all like online ones are like as credible as each other. It's we're just going by sample size, and Mal is the largest. So I guess you can just、yeah. go ahead with them. Yeah. And I would say that that doesn't matter. So. Well, of course, everything is subjective. Everything、yeah. is subjective, of course. PK. I'm mean, sounding like Socrates in my ear right now, bro. Let's see. Ratings are subjective too. I rate Etchy stuff a ten for the memes on Mal, and Ish, I hated a one out of ten. A one out of spite. Uh, also, people grade on Mal as if they were grading school papers. A seven is ish in most people's opinion on Mal. While it literally says that yeah, five that is, is good. anything above five is above average. Well, I write based off of what the wording is right beside it, Cass. So I'm going based、yeah, off of what I、you. say. Yeah, because it tells like it literally says it right there. So I feel like if you really do rate it like that, you're gonna be on some other level of stupid because it literally tells you the definition right by the right by the guy. I feel、number. like most people rate it by the school system because that's what they're used to. So people get really mad when you rate something a five, which is like, that's fine. Oh,、well, yeah, five is like pretty、fine. average. Five is just average. Yeah, if something's a five out of ten, that's not good though. But that's but it's like again, that's your opinion. <laughs> It literally says average on the thing, the description. Yeah, if we're going by the Mal statistic, then yes. But before Mal, before these, like, if they didn't have no words by it. I graded like Joseph was saying on the school system. I graded like oh, hundred, ninety, or eighty, or seventy. I do it just like that. Or you know what? Hey, give me, give me give me five stars. Give me five stars. Three three and a half stars out of five stars isn't good, generally speaking. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's true. So that's why I'm like, if I judge it based off of that, three out three and a half out of five. That that'd be like a oh wait no that'd be like a seventy five. See I don't like that. No, I don't like that. But you can't think of it like that, you know. Like that's something the school system put in our brains to like rot our shit. Like that's that's so like misinterpreted. I mean, but in school you had to get a, per- a certain percentage in order to pass. Yeah, but you can't like. <laughs> I I agree, but there's you can't get that out of people. It's too ingrained. So that just means that you have to keep in mind that most people will see seven as average, even if the word right next to it does not say、seven. average. Okay, so this is my thing. If we let's be real, guys, be real for the for the men and the ladies in the chat. If y'all saw a fine little honey, whether it be a man or a woman, for good preference, whatever, you saw a fine little honey on the street. She fine. What would y'all rate her? Like just fine. You wouldn't rate her no, no six. 
you gotta be more specific. Okay, a fine little honey. She 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 got she got some cheek on her. <laughs> Slim thick. <laughs> A handful, a good handful, but it's not, it's not on no like you know on no star, no P star level. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, it's a little handful. Wearing. She's wearing a little, she wearing a little sundress, tight on her skin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She wearing a sundress, tight on her skin. Shoe game, I, I don't really, I don't know. Sometimes when I look at girls' shoes and I look at the outfit. I'm like, ooh, let me shoes throw out the outfit. But it's some shoes that match with the outfit. You get what I'm saying? She, uh, she maybe got, she maybe. Yeah, you getting okay. swung on? <laughs> she got, she got some makeup. <laughs> She got some B cups, you know. The, the chesticles is handfuls. They now don't know Uz- Uzaki charms. You get what I'm saying? She got a slim little waist. She got a nice little waist. She got a pretty face, like you know, skin glowing, melanin popping, no acne like scars, no nothing. Fuck, but I can't really what what would y'all what, what would y'all what would you rate it? What would you rate it? I don't know. Man. This is so upset. <laughs> and like one thing you said, Chase, I don't think I've ever noticed. Eight girls' shoes before. You're gonna be completely honest with you. Nah, there's some sometimes, but nah, because you'd be surprised if you look at girls in like a sundress or something. And you look at the shoes, you're like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Cats and Chase, imagine girl, not right there. Nah, that's crazy. No one is a 10 to me, so nah, that's crazy. You ain't rate nobody a 10 ever, Misty. No celebrity, no nothing. We're talking about the small, the small testicle, big, big. Big uh, uh, big wagon combo. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm not big wagon. It's like it's it's medium one. It's perky wagon. Like it's thick out. Like if she put the if she put the yoga pants and tights on, you know, it's a, it's a little something back there. A little bump. You know what I'm saying? But Chase is the only time. With the little yoga pants. Nah, no. Trust me, trust me. It don't work for everybody, Matt. That's why I put the threes and the twos. At. If it don't work for you, <laughs> automatic three and two. <laughs> You're getting out of there, dog. Uh, I, I'm just saying. You told me I'm giving it like a, a soft seven. I'm giving a seven <laughs> or eight. No, no, seven, seven. Yeah, seven. But what are you judging this based off of? Is she's passing or like what? I don't know. If I get like, it depends. If I get like a quick glance or not. If I'm staring, it might be not. It might be an eight. Then. Oh, I feel like not you're staring. Eight. You thought other problems. Like if I'm breaking, like if I'm breaking <laughs> neck, then we might be talking business. Oh no! If I'm breaking neck, it's, it got to be nine. <laughs> <laughs> it gotta be nine to break the neck, dog. I'm talking about getting the whip line. I'm gonna start a rest. I'm gonna start a restaurant and <laughs> make the big wagon combo a meal. Hey, God, yes, hey. No, because I can't fathom a ten just based off of looks. But I'm saying if you're just basing it off of looks, you you could get something to ten. Now you got 23 people fantasizing about a girl. A zero because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm 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 speaking in the multiverse, Nelson, where it's not you, it's your other Nelson that's single. I'm speaking in multiverse terms. Come on, dog. So what y'all what y'all doing? Are y'all rating the girl seven out of ten? Like with the oh, on Mal, she's she's a good, or is it like, oh, she passing? How y'all rating that? Let's see. Let's see what Mal says, and I'll give you an answer. Mal says, Mal says, a seven is good. Okay, I, I can fuck with a good. That's okay. PK, what you doing? My oh, PK muted. You probably got something going. Joseph, if you see, see a nice young lady out there, are you doing it off the Mal system, or are you doing it off the US grading system? The Mal system. Mal system runs my life. Yeah, what are you on about? I'm sorry, Chase. <laughs> nah, y'all want something else. Y'all want something else. I'm not calling no, five no, average. I'm, five I'm, five I'm, out of ten just sounds horrible. I know, but like that's just something that's ingrained. It's like Joseph said, that's just something that's ingrained in our brain that like it seems like bad, but like That sounds bad. Five out of ten sounds bad. Because we, but like we make that sound bad, you know. Like they can easily sound okay. Like See, we're I the just... people who like we're the people who make identify that and like add value to something like that. Like, like we're a five out of ten sounds bad. Like that's us, not not the system. The system is there. It, our interpretation is what fucks it up. Wait, Chase, I thought you were like a major movie person, right? 
Yes, I'm a major movie person. Well, no, no, no. I'm not major. I'm a very casual movie fan. Do you go, do you go see movies at least once a month? He definitely does. I want to say okay, yes. Cool. I think I seen the movie okay, last cool. month. So, oh yeah, Lightyear came out last major, month. Being the major movie person that you are, uh, you know, Rotten Tomatoes. I think uses fifty as yeah, good. Yeah, I was right? about to say. I was about to say. What are you giving her on Rotten Tomatoes? Wait, 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 wait. You said Rotten Tomatoes? What? Doesn't Rotten Rotten Tomatoes do fifty as good? I don't know. Let me look. I never look at ratings like that. I never look at ratings on Rotten Tomatoes at all. Listen, we should just listen to the critics, bro, because clearly we're wrong. I mean, I, I, want, these men. I watch certain well, movie reviewers, and, you know, I generally trust their, trust their judgment. Not say, but I always watch the reviews after I've seen the movie. I, I formulate my own opinion, then I watch their review, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, I can see what well, you why you said that right there. Yeah, I, I do watch, like, one movie a year. Yeah. And Jesus! I so, I, it's completely out of my real house. You might be a vamp for real, bro. I don't know what's wrong with you. So, I, so I'm well, looking this year because I watched two Macross Frontier movies. I watched two movies. Oh my gosh! Movies. Oh my gosh! <laughs> same month. It's wild. Going to the theater twice. Crazy. So right now I see that <laughs> Thor: Love and I see Thor: Love and Thunder has a 66 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's good. Man. I I personally give it maybe a six or a five. But if I'm going based off of y'all's grading system on now. Okay, wait, let's look at the tomato meter. The tomato meter is like a 66%. It's a... Yeah, but what is the cutoff for fresh? Or okay, so when at least when at least 60% of you give a movie or TV show, a show or start a 3.5 or higher, and then less than 60% is 3.5 or lower. Right? How, do you, how do you tell... Also, how do you... It's like the school system. Wait, wait, I can't read the tomato thing. How do you read the tomato? It says toma tomato... <laughs> Tomato meter? What is this? Just oh, quote, no. like, uh, Chase, out of context. I can't read the tomato thing. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It has a 66% okay, on Rotten Tomatoes. A 6.5 out oh, of 10 I, I rating. Just, oh, fresh, fresh the, rating has... Tomato meter in the, top. the fresh rating has 263 and the Rotten has 136. Okay, okay. So I guess this this helps PK's uh, judgment, but he probably doesn't deem anyone credible, so I don't know if it will. It says, it says what is certified fresh? This is a consistent tomato meter score of 75% or higher. At least five reviews from top critics. Films and wide release must have a minimum of 80 reviews. This applies for films going on to limit wide release. Films and limited release must have a minimum of 40 reviews. What, what the fuck is a critic? Just someone watching a movie and giving their opinion? Well, they have to write, publish a no. review in like a newspaper or a blog. Yeah, it's those are like people much, who, yeah, much more, like, they're basically journalists. That sounds stinky. Right, <laughs> here we go, Gandhi. My bad, my bad. I'm trying to see because I, okay, so a movie like Nope, I've seen people like not really digging it lately. But I see right here it has an 82% certified fresh. And then. I give it an 8 out of a 10. I really like Note. Yeah, I saw it last night. It was pretty good. Well, well yeah, you're pretty much accurate. 82. But see, but see, uh, if I'm going off the tomato scale, then I'm, I mean, the, the mouth scale, then I'm giving it a 7. <laughs> I think it's no, good, but I don't so. think it's very good. Okay, so to, so also, also to provide more data, it says the 70% audience score from Nope is, is 2,500 verified ratings. So that's a massive sample size. Yeah, because there's like... What, but but you, also, but you also have to think, these are people who probably only went to theaters. There's probably also people who watched it illegally and haven't, like, submitted their review. Nah, that's you crazy. Know, if you are, That's crazy if you're an official critic and you watched it illegally. That's crazy. <laughs> you can't talk about the cinematography. You can't talk about uh, none of the camera work. Nothing. I get my videos all from, like, this one guy who holds a camcorder up whenever, like, you're you gonna, You're going to go to prison. Stop. He hides <laughs> behind his popcorn and I buy the recording off. <laughs> no, that's okay. crazy. That's crazy. Do you hear him eat the popcorn? Do you hear him eat the popcorn? Oh, the crunch crunch? Like, it yeah. adds to the, to the experience okay, of you okay. being in the movie theater with him. That's okay, crazy. so listen, the audience score is like the average person, and then the tomato meter are like verified critics, like real critics. 
not real critics, but like <laughs> high, high credibly people. What makes them credible? Every fucking go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just saying they're credible. It's just words. Like, tell me how they're credible. It's a guy who gives his opinions for a living. Wait, so, so am, sure. I credible, uh, am I a credible manga that's source? Case. Am I a credible manga critic? Now, that's crazy if I am. Put me up in there, baby. I would, I would, and you would be deemed as credible if you got posted into a lot, a, a newspaper. Dog, Viz is not, Viz is not even acknowledging my existence. I'm never going to be Jeez. credible. I'll go to the like, local high school and ask if they want uh, like your interview in their paper. You can get public. Joseph, they will call 911 on me <laughs> if I go up to a school. Uh, they will call 911 on me if I go up to a school. Stop it. Joseph says he does that every weekend. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> no, that's I'm crazy. This weekend. Okay, see, like, this guy, this guy gave it a three out of four, and he, he posts in the Denver Post. There you go. Does that make him credible? No. Wait. Who the fuck cares what you think? Nah, Chase is biased as F. As I said earlier, Chase the only guy I know who enjoys his favorite series having short chapters with not a lot of words. That's crazy! I can't enjoy that? No, that's insane! I also enjoy that. That's insane, Gav! By the way, I'm here just not chatting, so yeah. Alright, thank you, Deluxe Reflex. Okay, this guy didn't give it a score, but he posted in the article for ABC News. Is that credible? Wait, so let me you ask Pete. Like, I, I, say wait. I guess we gotta ask PK this. Is there any no. type of credible critic? Because it's their opinion, yeah. I guess essentially. That's what you're saying. Okay, okay. What is it? What is That's, it? What is he's it? saying he's saying that boy boy, I'm, I'm getting off the street right now. I'm getting off the street. I'm about right to fucking now. go to bed, bro. <laughs> getting off the street. He's talking about me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that was funny, PK. That's so, like, base me, base me, you're valid, pretty much. You are a W person. No, uh, no, he called me biased. <laughs> <laughs> if someone has similar taste to me and I know it, then then I'll listen to their opinion. But I mean, I'm you still got so close minded, though. That's so close minded. How was that close minded? So you just said if they have the same opinion as me, I'll listen to them. So if they don't, that means you won't listen to them. What? Okay. Let, let, let me reword what PK said. For, I'm talking about for something that's entertainment based. Yes. If you, if I'm not talking about political views or. No, or that's like, what I just interpret as what you said. Yes, I'm not saying I'm not blowing it out of proportion. That's what that's pretty much what you just said. I'm talking about for a movie. If, if I was someone who likes similar movies to me, they said, and we dislike the same movies, they said that's a bad movie. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take that opinion i'm still gonna watch the movie and form my own but i mean if someone else tells me that's a bad opinion i'm not gonna take it with anything it's in god's hands at this point man i don't even know what to say anymore i think pk is saying like he won't like not listen to you but he'll take your he'll take your opinion a bit more opinion. yeah he'll t you take their their opinion a bit more you respect their opinion a bit more if they have similar taste to you like you told me Gantz was a 10 out of 10. So now now I want to read Gantz. But I mean, I'm still going to read it and form my own opinion. But had fucking Joseph told me it was a 10 out of 10, I wouldn't want to read it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Joseph, you definitely don't have similar taste to PK. You gave Naruto a 4 out of 10. <laughs> Naruto's his favorite series. That's crazy. That's why, Joseph, right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why <laughs> you gave his favorite series a four out of ten. That's crazy. Okay. Even, even, even me, fighting my own even, business, and I got dragged into. Look, me and Matt don't have the exact same taste. He doesn't like One Piece, but the reasons why he doesn't like One Piece, I can understand. But uh, Joseph just no, but, saying nonsense bro. all the time. So wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not trying to like interpret anything you said. I'm just trying to think. So, <laughs> since <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess to align this with like something that critic that you deem credible, because as you just said, 
someone who's credible, someone who has the same taste as you. So there has to be one critic in the world who has the same taste as you, right? Similar. So, okay. You know what I mean. Yeah. So is that what would make a critic credible to you? To me, yes. That's like if it's a food yes, critic. Yes, I just said that to you. Okay, I mean, it's just like, what if there's a food critic and I give something like... But, but, but what I'm trying to say is when a critic gives their opinion on something, you're already going into their, like, review. So I guess this kind of, like, fucks with your point of view on something, but you already know going in, like, what you like and don't like. So, like, you have to take what they say with a grain of salt, which is why you need, like, a massive input of, like, critics if you want to come to your, like, formulated decision. Like, that's the point when you've taken a massive amount of info and then come to your decision. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Does that make sense? No, I was on a phone call. I don't know. I didn't oh, hear no, This guy's smoking cock, bro. This guy's smoking <laughs> dick. I'm on, I'm on mobile at work and someone called me. I didn't, I didn't hear anything you said. So I said, since a critic who has similar taste in you, to you, obviously, that's what would deem them credible. Wouldn't you like, but I, what I said was like, when a critic reviews something, you're already going into like knowing what you like and like don't like with certain things and how things are like portrayed to you. So like, if you're taking something they're saying flu like full blown serious, isn't that like a misinterpretation on your part? I mean, it could be, but I mean that that's for motherfucker speaking if and coulds over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it Tastes like you're sure about for once, bro. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. But then I don't read reviews, so I don't read reviews, so it doesn't matter. Well, I don't. Well, read. I mean, what you said was like a food critic. So say this food critic likes something, and you're like, and what you call? You could be like, hey, I don't like that. So like, why would you even go into that? You know, like I'm saying, you you come in with like precognitive like ideas and art about like how you like something and don't. So like, it doesn't matter. You change your decision from you. No, if, if it's a manga you, that you've never read before, or food you've never ate, but, it, but or it's still, but it's still of like. So what I'm trying to say is, it's still of a like, of a certain classification. So like, you already have a general idea. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know what like Gans, like Gans, like like Gans. Do you like sci-fi? If you don't like sci-fi, you're not gonna like Gans. Well, sci-fi is just fantasy, right? So I mean, I like fantasy. It doesn't matter where it takes place at. Bro, technically speaking, Dragon Ball Z is sci-fi. That's what That's Leon told me stuff. years ago. I mean, what is... If we're, going, if we're going by the technical... Oh, no, no. Dragon Ball is technically sci-fi, according to Mal. You would be correct. Oh! Uh, but yeah, most, most, anime, most anime, I think, would be sci-fi, though. What? Nah, sci-fi is like... Because what is sci-fi defined oh, as? Mine. Sci-fi is defined as a... Uh, imagine technological advances or natural settings which are currently yeah, unreal I in the present day, but could be invented, caused, or explained by science in the future. Yeah, I don't think most works have technology that hasn't already existed. So I well, you gotta think. In the ni- well, you gotta think. Some series started in the 90s, Joseph. So stuff that was in the 90s that we didn't have, that we might have now... Happened. Like the Promised Neverland, Gantz, 20th Century Boys, Orange, Dr. Stone. Okay, wait, wait. So now I think when you provide something like over that certain category, it's super important to like provide context. So like it's so important to say that like not all of Dragon Ball is sci-fi. There's sci-fi aspects included into it. Not it's not all sci-fi, you know. Let me not okay, wait, wait, that, like, wait, wait. Let me take literally. Let me see. Uh the narrative of science fiction stories focuses on the societal or individual repercussions caused by the imagined technology or natural phenomenon and are frequently dystopian in nature. Sufficient world building is required for us work to be sci-fi. An alien simply visiting from outer space and living on Earth with unusual powers would be supernatural. So all of Dragon Ball Z is sci-fi. Because it is an alien Ooh. living on Earth. What are you guys even talking about? I'm... I don't know. Characters in sci-fi stories usually have a natural powers without, without a fantasy slash supernatural tag. There would be a plausible scientific reason for these powers to be described by the creator. So again, okay, wait, wait. So like, sci-fi is like out of this world, but isn't like, 
mythology from this world because the goku is technically like from the god sen wukong which is like from earth yeah yeah he well goku's inspired by that but goku's from a different planet off of earth with the natural powers yeah. So technically, it's still yeah, science fiction yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's about true, the galaxy and all that type of stuff. Like how Parasite is a is a sci-fi because it has to deal with the alien coming to Earth. Akira, Neon Genesis, uh, Maiden the Abyss, Pluto, Kaiju Number Eight. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, we do. Yeah. So that makes sense. That Dragon Ball is sci-fi. I would agree. Mm, my favorite series, Worlds and Harem, is a sci-fi. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Why would it not be? Uh, okay, I said, why would it not be sci fi? Chase better suck me as well as he's sucking that water burger cup. <laughs> wonder how that air tasted. <laughs> Come on, Isaac. Chill. Science fiction is the best on God. I prefer fantasy, but science fiction definitely up there. So, what's the difference between fantasy and science fiction? Science fiction is more futuristic, fantasy is just like. Stuff that hasn't happened in this real world, so like dragons and shit, like Dungeons and Dragons and all that, like pretty much. So, so like Game of Thrones type pretty stuff. Good. Yeah, 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 pretty much. What's a series that's a fantasy? So it's like something that's like impossible that would never ever happen. Basically, yeah, like, Berserk is a fantasy, obviously. Like Record of Lotus War. Who? Never mind. Wait, did you just say Kaguya? No, I said Record of Lotus War. But, um... Yeah, Berserk is a better example. Because you know Berserk. So. I've never heard of Berserk. No, nope. like... Berserk to fantasy. One Piece is a fantasy. I guess, like... It's pretty much a lot of, like, shonen that is, like, fantasy. Like, Black Clover and... Berserk, uh, One Piece, Tokyo uh, Ghoul, Naruto, Demon Slayer, Bleach, Jujutsu Kaisen, Full Metal Alchemist. It's pretty much nothing that would ever, ever happen in real life. <laughs> That's pretty much fantasy. They even put Black Butler on here. I don't even know what that's about. I guess. Percy Jackson, Dragon Quest. So dragons didn't exist. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. Okay. Okay, I, I think I get it. So every isekai is gonna be a fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Fantasy is just like a pretty much a massive like category, and then there's subcategories that go within each one. I already see some Joseph fantasies right here. I see Ukami oh, no. to Koshin Ryu and Card Captor Sakura. You're about to expose my boy, yo. <laughs> Look, they're good. See? I'm about to say, I'm not exposing He just said it. <laughs> Black butlers definitely exist. Uh, Nelson, where are we going with that joke? Where are we going with that joke? Oh. What do you mean by that? Thanks. What do you mean by that? Oh, Cat Captain Sakura, I see. Yeah. I think we've gone over every single hot type slash topic for debate tonight. Ever heard of Jimmy Butler? No, that's crazy. That's crazy, Nelson. That's crazy. Well, you you didn't tell us where you stood though on on the whole thing. On which one? Oh, which wait? On which one? On which take? Which take? The one. Obviously, you told us about the best selling equals best. I'm oh about no! Favorite versus best and okay. Statistical data on opinions. Okay, so unless if I'm going based off of what did the majority think about this series? Because the majority, what the majority thinks, isn't what I think. Obviously, what like is, I, I mean, let me say this. Is. Let me say this. My opinion is not based off of what the majority's opinion is. I will say that majority's opinion is majority's opinion based off of a poll or a, what? What'd you say? A, a, ser a serving size? No. What, what's the thing called? What did Matt say earlier? Sample, sample, size. sample size. Yeah, sample size. Uh, I think you know, other wild <laughs> My opinion is not dictated based off of. Any type of majority thinking, essentially. When it comes to sales equating to something being good, I do not believe sales equate to it. Because like I told y'all earlier. Like I, so so is, is favorite best when it comes to something that's a No, no, no. So what's the best? To me... Berserk, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Berserk, okay, so... Does. Okay, so... No, I mean, me, what, what makes something the best? 
Okay, so obviously, PK, we all know that these are both subjective points. What is my favorite? <laughs> because it's literally, I'm li when it comes to my favorite, I'm literally biased to it. When it comes to best, I'm literally trying to look at it as unbiased opinion as I can. I know that's a contradiction. Don't PK. Listen, PK. Listen. It's a, unbiased I'm opinion. I got it. I got it. You got unbiased opinion. Yeah, I got an unbiased opinion. I'm thinking in my head, personally, subjectively, and kind of objectively, subjective objective. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Someone in the chat is about to say something. Don't, no. It's sub subjective objective. It's what I think. Okay, so look. Everybody has their own grading scales in the series, right? But there's certain series you like after grading scale. I just love it for what it is. Doesn't that make it the best thing? No, because I'm saying after grading scale, meaning if I rate this on here, it's probably going to be low on my grading scale. That's what that means. But if I rate it on my grading scale and it starts hitting all the points, especially the ones that I like and I feel really, really show the series. Damn, I'm trying. I'm trying. I, y'all know I don't know any words. Y'all know I don't know big words like that. So, okay, so look. Basically, if I have a grading system, and I'm like, dang, the character writing right here is a 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. Boom. The setting is a 5 out of 5. I dig it. Boom. The writing for everything is a 5 out of 5. Boom. The storytelling, the narrative, the exposition, 5 out of 5. Therefore, that series is a 5 out of 5. But I can also look and see, like, okay, that series is a 5 out of 5, in my opinion, but it's not my it's not my style. It's not completely my style. Now, if I go to Dragon Ball Z, I can see where certain things falter compared to other series, if I'm comparing other series to it. But I love Dragon Ball Z. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. I have a bias for Dragon Ball Z. I even reread it, and I still love Dragon Ball Z. Does it hit the nail on everything? No, I don't think it's a perfect series at all. But I still think Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite series because, to me, I love the characters a lot more. I love the power system in the series more. The story can falter a bit, but I love it way more than a lot of other series. And that also has to do with me growing up with it, playing all the video games coming out, all the merchandising that came out, my history with Dragon Ball Z. When it comes to a series like Berserk, one of the best things I've ever read. I give Berserk like a 10 out of 10 from what I've read so far. To me, nothing really falters in Berserk to where I'm like, dang, I really didn't like that. The only problem I have with Berserk, and it's a nitpick, but it's an understand, like, but it's a nitpick where I'm like, that really ain't a nitpick because I already knew that was coming. Something like the eclipse happening in the in the what is it? The uh the golden the golden age arc. Golden age. When it happens, because my thing is immersion. The most important thing to me when I'm reading a manga is immersion. Am I immersed in the world? When I was reading the Golden Age arc, I was so immersed. Then when the eclipse happened, I felt like all this magical, mystical stuff was happening. But I already knew that was going to happen based off of what was supposed to happen. What what happened at the beginning of Berserk. So when it happens in the manga, I was so immersed in this whole... Uh, what's... Uh, this whole, like, not Renaissance period, but basically this period of war and violence. Medieval. And medieval yeah, time, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like medieval stuff. Like, you know, like kind of like, you know, those people going to war. Like Zod and them would come every now and then. Yeah, it, it throw them... You know, it throw the mystical stuff, the supernatural stuff every now and then. When the eclipse happened, everything was mystical. Like, everything around it, the surrounding, the whole environment, everything that was happening was just super magical and mystical. And at that point, it took me out the immersion. But I knew that that was supposed to happen because it was already foreshadowed. And we was in a backstory. And we already saw the God Hand before we even got into the Golden Age arc. So, like I said, it only took me out of the immersion. But if I look at it from a storytelling aspect, everything was perfect. So I can't really fault Berserk on that. And I enjoyed everything in berserk from what i've read but i will say that if i had to choose over reading berserk or dragon ball z i would choose to read dragon ball z because i had a more fun time with it to me the most important thing for me is my enjoyment of it my enjoyment of it doesn't really factor heavily into my opinion of a series it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't it's not like the end all be all like if i didn't fully enjoy it but i still had times that i did like it and i see that everything to me is cohesive and everything just works well, then my enjoyment is one of those factors that, you know, I could just take a I could take a bullet on for that one in terms of rating. Like with, like I said, with Dragon Ball Z, I enjoy more than a lot of other series because it's just easy for me to get into. I can sit down. I can read it. Nothing serious is about to happen. Nothing about to make me seriously cry or really get me to thinking in my bed late at night like, oh, if this character would have done this. Like, you know, Dragon Ball Z is just a fun time. Berserk, I'm going to get a little depressed after reading it. I'm not trying to be depressed all the time. I got real life-ish I got to go through already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, I I disagree. What? Okay, what do you disagree with, PK? <laughs> All right, so at the start of this little uh, stage, 
mm-hmm. Cujo. I think it was Cujo. He was talking. And he said, the one I enjoyed more. But then he said the other one was the best. When he was comparing, uh, I think it was One Piece and uh, JoJo's. But, uh, like, if you enjoy something, like, I, it doesn't really matter the setting, the characters, the work, like, I don't, I, I don't think you can then start to grade it. Um, so I, li- I literally just said, I threw the scale out the window for my, for my favorite series. So then, so then that's the best. No. Yes. <laughs> cause what I think is favorite, cause to me, what favorite and best is, I can't argue against you. If you say, Whose writing is better, better uh, Guts or Goku's? I'm going to say Guts' writing is better as a character than, than Goku's. But that doesn't... Then, then okay. That's not even... Don't even nice. don't say that shit. <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't. don't say some stupid ass shit. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, am I like am I speaking a different language? <laughs> I get I get what you're saying. I hear you. Like, like you get, get what I'm saying. Like I like out. Goku. I like Goku more than Vegeta. I mean, I like Goku more than Guts. For to me, what okay. Goku stood for, especially as growing up, while Guts is a more realistic okay. character. That if I put him in, a, if I imagine myself in a setting like that, I would be just like oh Guts. Well, I wouldn't be just like Guts. What? Okay, what's the question? What's the question, PK? What's the question? Which one's a better character? Not which one's written better. Not not. Which one do you want to be okay, friends okay, with? Like, okay, okay but character? see, that's the thing, though. What, what are we judging? What is your definition of better in that sense? That's what I'm saying. You can't just face yeah. value it. There's, like, stuff that makes up that definition. <laughs> that's so simple. That's so simple. I just told you, I like Goku more than Guts. But I can see if someone says Goku, that Guts is written better than Goku as a character. Yeah, okay, he could be written better, but it's, that does not make him a better character. What? He can be written better. You, you could say he's a more <laughs> written, better, better written character. Uh, he has more character development, development what growth. To get at, okay, so what are you, <laughs> what are you to get out of this question is what now I'm curious about because you're just probing. Because, it, I, but... because he keep, no, he just keeps saying he's the better written character. I'm saying who's the better character? <laughs> I think the character who has the better writing is a better character. If I'm looking at it from an objective subjective, I know y'all gonna say some objective subjective point. He's a (laughs) he's a he's a better written character. Guts is. But my favorite character, the character I like more, is Goku. You stop saying better written. You you say that every time. Yes, because you because see your better is is too broad. The better is too broad. Dude, you're just playing devil's advocate at this point, brother. What? No, I'm I'm asking the same question I was asking before. <laughs> Cass said PK just being contrarian at this point. <laughs> he basically just said, personally, his favorite character is Goku. Yes. But objectively, the better written character is Guts. Okay. Yes. That's not what I asked, but yeah. Holy fucking shit, bro! There's no fucking way you are mind numbing. <laughs> You keep, you keep, you, you, you even said written. This is the guy who called me smooth rain. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Man. The, wait. So, am I making sense? I want to make sure I'm making sense. No, you are, you are making, making sense. sense. Okay. Okay. So why the fuck you keep asking the same question? <laughs> uh, PK got you know me. PK got me feeling some type of way. He's saying better written. I just want him to say better. Period. I think Guts is a better character overall, but I like Goku more. He answered your question. Don't even ask the same dumb shit again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, what Chisa said multiple times is better written is better. That's his stance. Pretty much. I I would argue that it's like that. Wait, wait, go, go ahead, PK. Please this argue. Man Please arguing argue. the Miriam dictionary over here, bro. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, no, because you're literally you're, arguing against right. definitions at this point, bro. I don't know what to say. I'm not arguing against definitions. You literally are. How? What, what do you mean, how? You just said I want him to say what's the better character, and he just said guts is the better character. Yes, and then he followed it by. You know, there's a difference know. between. 
Like, you're just you're basically you're look. basically nitpicking and saying he can't have two oh, separate opinions. Oh, I was actually opinions. coming out That's here to pick up a said. cupcake. Yeah, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I, I'm of that opinion. Yes. What the <laughs> fuck? Wait. So PK, <laughs> he's arguing semantics at this point. Uh, I think he is. This is Mister Semantics right here. He's only Mr. Semantics when it comes to objective, subjective, and favorite and best. He's only Mr. Semantics right there. But, PK, let me ask you. You love One Piece. Yeah. You love Naruto. Yes. Who do you think is a better main character? Naruto. Okay, I do too. Which series do you think is better? Naruto. Where do you think One Piece just really? Do, and you do you think Naruto is better than One Piece? Yes. Across all across all grading metrics, whether it be characters, no. plot. No. Uh, no. Okay. Not so what? What? That, okay. So what is what is, what is what does what does One Piece do yeah. better? What does One Piece do better? World building. So do you think that One Piece has the best world building out of the two? Yes. Is One Piece is One Piece's world building your favorite world building? Yes. Out of the two? What the Yes. Yeah. Uh, Naruto's world building is kind of trash. But... Okay. Just the shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else do you like in One Piece better than Nam? Nothing. Do you think the the world building is just better? That's it. Yes. I don't so think the characters are better. So there's, the, so there's, the characters are definitely better. Man, no, no, I don't care what you think. You need to finish. Me. See, see, see. That's such a close-minded way. See, there you go. But you're saying they're better. It's a checkmate. It's a checkmate. It's a checkmate. You're saying the characters are definitely better, which is an opinion. It's not. What do you I mean can provide a structural argument why, but I already know where this is going to go, so you're not worth the time. <laughs> a structural argument on what you think is yes, better? Yes, a well-cohesive thought. But that that doesn't even make it better. Okay, let's hear it. We're already running. We're running in circles already. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want any parts <laughs> of it. We're in a straight line. Let's hear this evidence. Well, I don't that want any parts of it. has never been provided before. I don't want any parts of it. I don't want any parts of it. I'm good. I'll pass. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'll pass, bro. I'll pass. That is what I thought. You too. It's like talking to a brick wall at this point, bro. <laughs> what? A brick wall. A brick wall. Ishigami said, <laughs> like I said, Matt thinks too much. I like PK's line of thought. I just think it's funny. That's all. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> PK, I feel, you know what I mean when I say you can have a favorite and a best and it'd be two different things. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. You want, you, I, know, I know what you mean. You have the one that you think is the best and it's your favorite and you have the one that other people think is the best. No! You don't want to hurt I have the one. one. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! See? you making me sound like a panderer <laughs> now. I'm not a panderer. Snake eater. I I'm you. not a panderer. I'm snake eater. At the same time. Left hand, right hand. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy, PK. <laughs> PK thinks I'm a panderer. That's insane. He is, bro. Just say you were probing for the answer. Just say it. We're not going to judge you. <laughs> I was probing. I love probing, Chase. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Good guy, bro. PK knows what I mean when I say, oh, this is my favorite. And this is what I think is the best. What I think is the I best. Do. I just told you. No, 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 no. You make me sound like a panderer in that, though. PK being <laughs> annoying people, be, being annoying people out of arguments. See? PK knows what I mean. Chad, I gotta ask. It's PK's opinion or nothing. Literally, bro. It's like a fucking ultimatum. <laughs> Chad, I gotta ask. Is y'all's favorite series, y'all think the best series that y'all watched or read? Let me know, Chad, because I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know. PK is wilding tonight. I already know I'm going to hell, but I might as well take him with me, man, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
If you could change my mind, change my mind. But no, I'm uh, good, bro. You can't you can't change a rock in a hard place, man. Jerry's Jerry's changed my mind before. We had a debate like this in Discord. And Jerry, Jerry will say so. Jerry, Jerry will say that Saint Seiya is his favorite series, but One Piece he thinks is a better series. And I was calling him a panda too. Oh my God, PK! There's no winning with you. I just told you Jerry's won before in an argument we've had. I'm literally shaking right now, bro. I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> Cass. Cass Lily said, my favorite is Blue Exorcist, and I know other stories are written better. I'm not saying that other stories can't be written better. That doesn't make it better. No, my well, mind. okay, 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 now, okay, okay, PK. What makes something better? What makes something better? I gotta know. Well, when you're, it depends. You're, we're talking about opinion-based stuff, so... No, you tell me, because you said, you tell me, because you said you're <laughs> so you tell me, bro. You tell yeah, me, bro. Shrewd. Max shrewdness. Quee, quee, uh, quee, we talking about? Can we have a? Can we? Can our favorite series and our best series be the same, or can it be different? Does it have to be the same, or can it be different? Quee's back, <laughs> Mr. Baruto. I know they are. Oh, Cass says, "quote unquote." I know they are better. Doesn't mean they are better. <laughs> the f you mean? <laughs> See, PK is the only they one with this mindset. Written. I'm glad PK is the only one with this mindset. Because PK had me tripping that one day when he said in the Discord. He had me sound like a crazy man. And I'm also not a panderer, PK. Biases <laughs> can be valid. No, but Quee, I'm not saying that you, what you, like your best and your favorite can be the same. But can you also have two different series for the best? And your favorite. PK should have his picture next to the logical fallacies in the dictionary. Yeah, I'm fucking saying. No, he doesn't believe in dictionaries at this point, bro. I don't even fucking care. Do you have Discord? Yes, I do. Exclamation point Discord in the chat. It's got to be some like third dimension bullshit, bro. I don't know what the fuck is even happening anymore. Nah, this is a multiverse version of, of uh, PK right here or something. This like is he's in the Max Curse Catastrophe. No way, bro. This is wait. What'd you say, PK? Max Perspicacity. What does that even mean, PK? Nah, you gotta explain yourself after that one, bro. The ultimate foresight, all knowing. When oh, it comes to this topic. Get the get the f out of here, PK. <laughs> Yeah, cause Dragon. Oh, yeah, cause JoJo over Dragon Ball. But every time I see MUI Goku, I go crazy. My favorite sports anime is Prince of Tennis, but I know it's not the best out there. Thank you, Casper. That's such a simple answer. It's really not that hard. Yeah, but it's the wrong answer. No, oh man. no, PK, no, <laughs> PK. Have you ever thought maybe you're wrong? No, because no. he's always right, bro. There we go. Back in, back in the fucking circle we go, bro. Not not on not on this uh topic. You're never you're never leaving the never ending like, fucking roller coaster, bro. Of hell man. I don't even like roller coasters. You say one piece or dragon ball. Dragon yeah. Ball. I choose Dragon Ball. I think One Piece is a better series overall, but I choose Dragon Ball. Now what's PK gonna say? What PK got to say? What what PK got to say? I wasn't even listening. What you say? <laughs> Kui asked me One Piece or Dragon Ball, and I said I like Dragon Ball more, but I think One Piece is a better series overall. And I think that's silly. So I mean, that's, that's, that's what I have. The same cool. thing I've been saying. Uh. I'm convinced there's no end to this, bro. No, there's not. Matt, uh, Cass okay, asks... If you, if you, keep going, PK. Keep going. If you take all your all your grading system, right? Characters, world, whatever. And then you, and you read something, you're like, wow, this is better? Then it doesn't really matter. So as I'm saying for the fifth time, bro, he's just spitting <laughs> some Socrates shit. <laughs> 
it's literally just we believe our own truth. That's pretty much what you're just saying. Like that's it. Like it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes, that's what I said, and you were like, "What are you talking about?" That's literally what I was saying. We all have our own, uh, our own best. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Thank, thank you for confirming that. This is all irrelevant now. <laughs> well, glad to be a part of this. I'm not glad you're a part of this. I'm in literal hell right now. I didn't even hear what PK said, but I'm I'm tired. <laughs> so uh, what now? I don't know. I'm tired and I'm hungry. So that is my cue. Nah, I already had water burger once today. I don't need to do that. I just eat my girls' leftovers. Cause that's what so I she, do. The perfect time. To sit down, relax, and watch some anime. Some what? Watch a show. Watch. What did you just call it? Okay, anime. Fine. Let's say it that way. What did you say before? Now, according to PK, there's no re- correct way to say it. So it doesn't anime. You can say however you want. <laughs> anime is the right way to say it. Anime, you can say however you want. No one cares. I didn't hear what he said. I just wanted to know what he said. I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> PK just being mean at this point. Trying to correct, trying to hear what he said. You're probing, bro. You probe with everything you say. I don't trust you. Just because I probed you doesn't mean I probe everything, buddy. <laughs> you. No, nah, he does, bro. I, man, maybe I shouldn't trust people with uh, Ness avatars, but you know. <laughs> Oh. All right, y'all. Matt gonna All go right. to bed mad tonight. Today. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm in. The, I'm in the stage. I'm in the stream. I see two in here. Hi, two. How are you doing? My blood is boiling. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. Uh, I told PK to tell me what day for the for the anime watch party. He still ain't telling me the day. At least I don't remember him telling me. I hope you get to go take care of his kid. What'd you say? So it doesn't matter what they would do. I could watch. You say you could just watch anytime? Yeah, I couldn't watch chat work. PK, you was breaking up a bit, but I'm gonna infer what you're saying. We watch a mother of the goddess dormitory. Oh, that's in the 18 plus chat on. We gotta go to the 18 plus chat to watch that. Hydrate, Baka. Chase, I got some cute girls doing cute things recommendations that you should totally watch. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, Joseph, I'm here, Joseph, I'm I got too much here. testosterone for that, dog. They're Sanin. They're Sanin. Sanin's peak, right? right Gal- no, Gal Gohan is peak Sanin. Maybe. Yes. What's the 18 plus chat name? Are you in the Discord, Isaac? And are you 18 plus? Oh, yeah. No, you guys in the, you guys what? In the picture of your ID. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sending a picture of the ID. is crazy. Dang, Lonnie gonna miss out. <laughs> Can we watch Demon Slayer? See, this is why Victor ain't in the 18 plus chat right now. It doesn't matter. He's 17 anyway. That That's both. a Ronnie tier question. Yeah, Joseph, they anything like lay back camp or slash slow loop? That's what Cass asked. Uh, yeah, I want to watch uh, Eurocamp. What is that? Joseph, Laid what back is that? camp. I'm, I'm down. Soon says I gotta kick you now, Victor. I think Soon's on onto the right thing. <laughs> oh man! Although yo, this got a seven point six out of ten on my list, bro. Demon Slayer is such a good anime, but as a manga, it's normal, in my opinion. As a manga, to me, it's it's below average. Chase, here's the great thing about Slow Loop, right? You can learn how like how to fly fish at the same time that you know, you're know you watching a show, and then it also teaches you how to cook the fish. No, nah, he's probing here, bro. He's you... probing too now. Yuru Camp is literally just Slow Loop, but without fishing. Yeah, it's camping. Wait, have I seen? You might have seen. No, I just came out this year. No, I haven't seen the. Not no, I haven't seen the manga. I mean, a movie. I think of something else. 
I think I know what you're thinking about Chase because I have seen the manga on the show. Yeah, it's like the little girl and she's like on a camp field or something. Yeah. But she's like cute. Let me let me start saying this adorable. I'm gonna start saying that because guys like to call girls cute too that they they find attractive. I'm gonna start having to call them adorable or something. You seen the manga in my collection twice now. I'll have to see it again, Kev. Sugar tends to say best thing that happened in anime since 2020. I mean, I only watched part one of the first season, so I can't say that. When I got you, I only got through like four episodes. You did give me the Nagatoro victory, but that's just because I have a masochist. I guess fetish, because I like to see the male character get bullied by a woman character. I don't know what it is. I enjoy that dish. It, I ate it Chase up. Chase is still like the Takagi-san movie. Wait, there's a movie? Yeah. I can't imagine the whole movie. I just imagine it as like a gag comic strip, each each chapter I read. Which I need I to mean, get more of. That's pretty much what the, the TV show is like. See, I never watched the TV show. It's pretty much like a few of the strips animated, and that makes up one episode. So they're like hard cuts in between. So like Nagatoro a bit. I would guess so. I've still never read Nagatoro. You ain't read Nagatoro, I've, but you, come no, on. Jesus. I've read Nanashi's all of his other works except for Nagatoro. Oh, no, what was his other works? What was his other uh, works? <laughs> stuff like stuff like UPL. UPL is pretty good. Kaguya's OVA goaded until the contest. Kaguya's OVA was, whew, it was oh, pretty steamy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess we could watch a little anime for a bit. I got to do some videos. Thank you, said pedo or not. It's good. Huh? <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, you're talking about the, what's the anime called? Mushuko. Yeah, I gotta record this video. It's actually pretty weird. I, I I watched the first part. I enjoyed it. I get why people say it's a pedo thing, so it's kind of weird. But I'm like, also, he can't get nobody his age. I don't know. That's like the weird duality of that series. Like it's like he can't get nobody his age because he's young. His brain isn't, but his body is. Yo, this sounds weird. I'm done. I'm off stream. I'm off stream. This yeah, sounds you're weird. about to get the stream canceled, bro. Bro, I don't even know what to say about that. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say nothing crazy, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Though. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we gonna to raid somebody. We gonna raid. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Fried, bro. Thank you, Mr. Sick Gaming. I'm about to end the stage. I don't know what we're about to do in the chase. Hurry to bed. You nasty bastard, Victor. I appreciate all you guys for coming onto the stage and all you guys for watching. I'm about to end the stage right now, boys. But I'll be in the Discord. So Chase, uh, now that you've had time to digest everything, uh, have you changed your opinion on the Hinata fight? No, I, 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 no. All right, all right. Just checking, just checking in. You gonna have to really win me over on that one. I'm about to read that the manga for that because I, I, I yes. don't know, Joseph. Redemption. I, I'll, I'll see. I will see. All right, Joseph. I'm closing out the, the stage. All right. See ya. Uh, exit and end. All right, boys, girls. All right, boys and girls. Oh, look, soon, soon, put me in a thing. Cool. Yeah, I think that's the one I seen. I think. I think, but I haven't seen that volume though. Saying is a Boruto ever hit Keku? What's a Keku? Oh my mom. Gotti gonna be in the gonna be next stream. <laughs> it's a Gotti. Are you Gotti? Yo, it's a Gotti. Are you Gotti or nah? Once people find out Nagatoro's Monica early work, he's done for. <laughs> Chase, it is 12 GTS. What is 12 GTS? It is, oh, Chase, it is 12. Going to sleep. All right, good night, Misty. Thank you for coming through. Highly appreciate that, my boy. But yeah, we in the stream right here. We gonna raid somebody. I don't know who we want. Let's see who we want. Who we want. We can raid. We can raid Sama again. Let's raid Sama. We raided him last time. Let's raid him again. Dang, what's why did why did my stuff change? Okay. I don't know if he's about to get off. I hope he's not about to get off. Yo, if he's about to get off. Let me start looking at these people and see if they're about to get off. Switch, I'm gonna be a partner. What you want today, Jalen? <laughs> I was making it seem like you was big brother and not. Oh. Uh, 
Dang, why does it look like he's about to get off? I think he's about to get off. Uh, okay, let's do Queen tonight. Let's do Queen tonight. Let's see. She's streaming Fortnite, so we can raid. Yeah, Tunji Sama. But it looked like he's about to get off because I see him watching somebody else. And last time we raided him, he was about to get off. So I'm like, F. I'm like, I don't want to do that again. Though. So I'm like, all right, let me get off. Name a few type emojis. All right, boys. But we out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys' support and coming through because y'all didn't have to come through. Y'all could have been doing anything else. But you chilled and you sat with your boy. Highly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go do this YouTube stuff. And so he's doing videos. All right, but I already put it on Queen tonight. So, yeah, you guys have a great, safe night. I'll be the Discord. Love you guys. Thanks, Joe.